This is Free Talk Live. We invite you to bring up anything that you want to discuss. Just dial on in toll-free here to 855-450-FREE. That's toll-free, brought to you by ProXPN, 855-450-3733. Uh, joining you in the studio tonight, it's Ian. And Mark. And hopefully we'll be having uh, Lauren, a.k.a. Objectivist Girl, joining us here in a little bit as well tonight. Uh, co- coming up on the show this evening, Mark, you have 11 countries with the most personal freedom in the world, and we'll find out if the United States is on that list. So it's a new list for me. I've never heard of the most personal freedom list. Yeah, it's exciting. So we've all, we've talked about the countries with the most economic freedom in the past, so excited to hear about that. Your call is certainly welcome. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. We've got Skype as well. You can Skype into the show. Our username is lrn.fm, so feel free to hop on board that way and get your thoughts out. Now, I mentioned a couple nights ago in the midst of a different conversation, we didn't have time to really expand on this, I mentioned a, about this video that has come out of uh, an American photographer who apparently has been missing since 2012. James Wright Foley has been beheaded by people claiming to be associated with the ISIS guys over in Iraq. Yep. Now, uh, the story here is from the Daily Mail, and I do have the video. We can play the audio track from it here. I refuse to watch the actual cutting off of the head. I've, I, I remember watching a video where that happened to someone previously. I forget. Nick who, Berg. Nick Berg. That probably was who it was, yeah, yeah several years ago. And uh, it was horrifying to watch that. And I don't want to watch this one because I'd seen that one. You know, you've seen one. I've seen more seen than one person all. on Facebook claim that it's fake. That sounds like ridiculous conspiracy theory to me. But then again, I haven't watched it. Um, <laughs> so you, you're you welcome to weigh in if you have. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Well, apparently it's real that they actually had this guy, James Wright Foley, and he's been missing since 2012. This was really him okay. uh, on that video. Uh, the mother and father of beheaded James, or excuse me, beheaded journalist James Wright Foley called on ISIS militants to spare the lives of other captured hostages as the authenticity of the barbaric video of his death was confirmed by the White House on Wednesday morning. White House National Security Council spokes bureaucrat Caitlin Hayden issued a statement to say the U.S. intelligence community has analyzed the recently re- released video showing U.S. citizens James Foley and Stephen Sotloff. Quote, we have reached the judgment that this video is authentic. We will continue to provide updates as they are available. Now, of course, just because the government says something is authentic doesn't mean it, in point of fact, is authentic. But, uh, you know, cutting somebody's head off on video isn't necessarily an an easy thing to fake, I guess. Um, But your thoughts are certainly welcome at 855-450-FREE. So they talk about, you know, the politicians and their responses to this. Uh, and obviously, you know, Barack Obama is probably not going to withdraw the troops from Iraq over this, which is likely going to end up killing uh, yet another one of their captives. At the very end of the video, they show the second man that was named here in this story, uh, not James Wright Foley, he was the one who was allegedly decapitated, but Stephen Sotloff is the one who is allegedly still alive. And they threaten at the very end of the video to off him next based on what or what not uh, Obama does or doesn't do. So, uh, going on here to the story from the Daily Mail, it's emerged on Wednesday that several senior U.S. officials with direct knowledge of the situation says ISIS very recently threatened to kill Foley to avenge the crushing airstrikes over the past two weeks against militants advancing on Mount Sinjar, the Mosul Dam, and the Kurdish capital of Erbil. Disturbing footage of the execution appeared on Tuesday in a video titled A Message to America, in which apparently an apparently coerced Foley, age 40, recites a pre-prepared script, presumably given to him by his captors, which he delivers unflinchingly to the camera. So I wonder about this. Do they have them do things like this over and over over the course of uh, years? Because he's had them for a couple of years. When you say, do they have them do things like this, okay. you mean read statements into the right. camera? Do the sick, twisted, um, militant religious fanatics have their captives, i.e., in this case, the reporter, um, read ridiculous diatribes into cameras on a regular basis? Because 
I don't know how I would react if I was being knelt down in front of a camera for the first time two years after I had, was, had been in captivity. Presumably, like this is pretty important, right? Like kneeling down, why am I kneeling? Don't we behead people that are kneeling? Mm. I'm pretty sure he knew what was coming. Uh, that was, I think, that that seemed clear, at least to me. And in well, this, I'm not going to take a beheading. Okay, well, if you're not going to take it, Mark, we're going to kill your family. Well, which family are you referring to? Your wife and son. Where are they? They're in New Hampshire. We know where they are. And if you don't do what we say and say what we tell you to say, we're going to torture them. And kill them. Ridiculous. Now, would that change how you feel about it? I, I suppose that it might, like at that point, if I'm choosing between taking a bullet in the back, which is likely, and a uh, chopping off my head, that it may very, I may very well make that decision. Like, there's there are two poor choices. Like, what I was deciding um, between was uh, is whether or not I'd take the beheading versus a bullet in the back, and I'd rather take the bullet in the back. But... Um, you know, he he may decide to do the math in his head and say, yeah, these you know, these people might have some sleeper agent somewhere in the United States that might be able to, you know, do something to my family before they could get the the police involved or mm-hmm. whatever. So it's probably worth just getting my head cut off, since either way, I'm dying tomorrow. There you go. So I'm gonna give you the audio track, and we can share more from the Daily Mail piece about this video. Mark, you're claiming some people are saying it is faked, but let me at least give you the audio up through. But the um, White House says it's authentic. That's correct. They do say that. Your thoughts are welcome at 855-450 free. Again, this is called A Message to America. It's actually, I'm starting the video two minutes into it. Uh, The beginning portion of the video is a clip of Barack Obama talking about the airstrikes that he had ordered on various different targets, allegedly ISIS or ISIL targets in Iraq. So after the Barack Obama statement, they show a clip of what appears to be some sort of a missile striking a group of their friends, presumably. And then they begin the video, which uh, which has a man standing in a balaclava and all black next to the American uh, photographer James Wright Foley, freelance photojournalist who is kneeling in all orange. I call on my friends, family, and loved ones to rise up against my real killers, the U.S. government. For what will happen to me is only a result of their complacency and criminality. My message to my beloved parents, save me some dignity and don't accept any meager compensation for my death from the same people who effectively hit the last nail in my coffin with their recent aerial campaign in Iraq. I call on my brother John, who is a member of the U.S. Air Force. Think about what you are doing. Think about the lives you destroy, including those of your own family. I call on you, John. Think about who made the decision to bomb Iraq recently and kill those people whoever they may have been. Think, John, who did they really kill? And did they think about me, you, our family, when they made that decision? I died that day, John. When your colleagues dropped that bomb on those people, they signed my death certificate. I wish I had more time. I wish I could have the hope of freedom and seeing my family once again. But that ship has sailed. I guess all in all, I wish I was an American. This is James Wright Foley, an American citizen of your country. As a government, you have been at the forefront of the aggression towards the Islamic State. You have plotted against us and gone far out of your way to find reasons to interfere in our affairs. Today, your military air force is attacking us daily in Iraq. Your strikes have caused casualties amongst Muslims. You are no longer fighting an insurgency. We are in a... We'll come back. There's just a little bit more. And then what is alleged to be a beheading, like I said, I haven't watched it yet. If you have and you want to comment, you're welcome to share. 855-450 free. You don't have to call. You don't have to only call if you've seen this. Uh, Certainly you can call about anything you want. Your perspective certainly welcome here. The toll-free number is 855-450 free. So how do you stop these beheadings. How do you stop killings like this? We'll come back. Hi, Chuck Woldery here. I don't know about you, but I don't like taking pills for minor arthritis pain, and I don't like those patches either. But I have found something that works, Australian Dream Arthritis Pain Relief Cream. 
It's a great product. It doesn't smell or burn, isn't greasy, and it works. And Australian Dream has an empty jar guarantee. You can use the whole jar, and if you're not happy, you get your money back. But I doubt you'll send it back. This stuff really works. Australian Dream is now available at Target or your favorite retail store. I travel for work during the week, and it's tough being away from home. But America's Best Value Inn treats me like family with free Internet so I can keep up with work and those back home. A continental breakfast in the morning and instant rewards with the Value Club so I can save more money at most of their 1,000 hotels in North America. If you travel for work, go to AmericasBestValueIn.com and discover the best value on the road. Gold, it's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223. For the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800 86 2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800 686 2237. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at Keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keene for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. You can pre-order your tickets now for just $60 at Keenvention.info, or you can pay with Bitcoin. Visit Keenvention.info for more information and to lock in your tickets at the pre-order $60 price for the whole weekend. Visit Keenvention.info for more, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Take control toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. The video is likely horrifying. I'm just going to go out on a limb and uh, and say that I, I haven't watched the actual decapitation portion of the video in question. Yep, For those who, oh, sorry about that, Mark, come back there. I haven't either, okay, and I'm great. not going to. Yeah, I, I'm going to skip that. Lauren is uh, joining us here from ObjectivistGirl.com. We're going to, of course, take your calls about whatever you would like to share. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, and you can join us online at freetalklive.com. Don't forget, we've got Skype. Skype on into the show. Username here is lrn.fm. 
You will need to send a contact request first, though, so do that, and then you'll be on our list. And by the way, uh, if you've been thinking about getting Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Litecoin, Blackcoin, or Darkcoin, now you can do it easily. You can do it with check, wire transfer, money order, even cash deposit. Go to ExpressCoin.com, and you can actually do it from Canada now as well. Go to ExpressCoin.com. They make it so easy to get your favorite cryptocurrencies with uh, basically with cash. And you can also do it from your smartphone. Just download their app from ExpressCoin.com. Plus, if you use our discount code FTL, like Free Talk Live, you'll get up to $40 worth of Bitcoin for no fee. And I believe you can do that more than once. If I'm not mistaken, you can do that nice. on more than one occasion. So if you buy more than $40 on one occasion, then it'll be, I think, a 3% fee, which is probably the best fee you're going to find in the business, in the Bitcoin world. So if you're ready to jump into Bitcoin, go to ExpressCoin.com once you've got your free Bitcoin wallet, which we can tell you about how to get one of those here in a little bit as well. Uh, so, Lauren, you're kind of coming into to the middle of this. You actually are a little bit late tonight because you went to visit Rich Paul. I did. I did. I did want to say something about that the Bitcoin thing, though. Sure. Um, you know, I, I, I was just thinking about this on the way up here because I'll tell you what, I've got... Uh, a two-hour drive to come up here. <laughs> so, um, actually, it's an hour and a half. I'm yeah, just like to exaggerate. Both ways. Yeah, yeah, right. But it's worth it because I get to see all my friends. But the thing is, is that while I was driving up here, I was, you know, reflecting on the era that we are living in. And I just... Um, I think it's amazing that the internet hasn't really even existed that long. And we already have a currency um, based on it. And uh, I, I think what is so cool is the fact that someday when we're old, we're going to be able to look at our kids who are using Bitcoin and be like, I remember the day when Bitcoin was created. <laughs> and that Satoshi guy is very cool. Or remember the day when people actually had a whole Bitcoin, right? Because, I mean, what, what, oh my what, goodness. You know, at some point, some people are saying Bitcoins will be worth $100,000. I mean, you don't know what's going to happen certainly tomorrow. could. Um, anyway, well, well, let's get back into uh, your calls and thoughts. You know, We've Gavin got- Andreessen, uh, the the head developer of Bitcoin, actually recently credited Free Talk Live as one of the sort of sparks that set this. They called it a crazy open source project into. Um, the currency of the inter- internet. It was a really um, big compliment. You read it for me off the air a couple days ago or yesterday or something like that. And yes. I mean, to come from the second uh, most well-known developer of Bit- Bitcoin right after Satoshi Nakamoto, I think Gavin's been on board for, for quite a long time, uh, as I understand it. Big deal. Anyway, let's go uh, back to the story here about the video. We've got Luke on the line. He is in Milwaukee via Skype. Luke, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, everyone. How's it going? Hey, what's on your mind tonight, Luke? Um... I'll just dive right into it. I watched the video. I heard you just say this is probably going to be horrifying. Um, it's re- it's really not. Um, really? It's it's laughable at best. Um, laughable? Oh. I let me let me let me expound on that. I know, I know it's pretty big. I, we'd big appreciate thing to it say. if you did. <clears throat> um, I not that I have any kind of fascination with this stuff, but I've watched as a kid. I watched several of them in the past because I was still stuck in the belief that, you know, these people are barbarians and, you know, they're destroying the world and Muslim caliphate and all that stuff. But um, anyways, um, so I watched a lot of the old ones and those were absolutely gruesome and disgusting and had to be shut off halfway through. This one, the big thing that, that strikes me right off the bat is the production value. I mean, we're being told that these guys are barbarians hopping from caves to caves. And this is, I mean, it looks like it's like a full HD video. Um, I saw a comment by an individual on Facebook. Well, hold on. Before, who, before you go on with, you know, the remainder of no, your points here. No. Um, okay. So they're saying they're hopping from cave to cave. Well, whoever they are may not know what they're talking about or trying to paint right. these people as... Uh, as right. inept, I mean, it's not uncommon for someone to have a cell phone with an HD video camera chip in it. Right, but um, another another thing is I saw, and I mean, you, you kind of take this with a grain of salt, but I saw a comment on Facebook by an individual who said that they were an audio technician, and they pulled the audio off the, 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 the file or whatever and said that this is studio-quality audio um, on this, on the video. 
But um, back to the actual details of it. It did sound um, like there was some wind in the background when I was listening to the sort of not the narrator, but the you know the the guy that was speaking English that wasn't the reporter. Right. Um, the man one with of the, the knife. one of the right one of the big striking things to me is the knife he's holding has no serrations on it. Now Mark might be able to 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 talk about this in more depth than I can because I've never chopped the head off of anything. But I know Mark raised Mark Mark raised. Mark raises pigs um, uh, and and slaughters them. I haven't and... done it yet. You haven't done the slaughtering oh, part. You mean? I've, I've oh, taken, okay. I've slit Sorry. the throat of a chicken, but you use a scalpel kind of knife to do that. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and admit right. I'm guilty. Um, pig pig I, slaughtering? No. Um, I hunt birds with my dad. So um, you, you know. currently hunt birds? I do. And you chop their heads off? Um, sometimes when they're not dead. Um, we mm. have to uh, ring their necks, ring their necks uh, so that they're uh, fully dead gotcha. because we don't want them to suffer. Luke? So I just find it difficult to believe that he made it through a human spine with a knife that's not serrated. I mean, unless it's one of the sharpest knives on the planet or something like it that. It looked like a but handheld then, knife. Yeah, it's just it's just like a little it's I mean it's like a little straight blade. Do they blade, cut like away a, just so I'm sorry to interrupt yeah, but uh, yeah, okay. It, it, it so goes like I want to give our them. listeners a real quick description of what this video is. So there's the guy, the American reporter who's been missing for 2 years. He's on his knees in all orange. There's a man in black with a you know some sort of a mask on holding a knife. And during the statement that the man in orange makes and during the statement that the man in black makes, the camera just stays on them. It doesn't cut away. You're saying they cut away to what? A close up? What do you see? What do you okay. actually see happen? Okay, so he grabs his head and he starts sawing like at his neck, but there's no there's no blood. <laughs> like there's no blood at all. And because you have like a solid second or two of him actually allegedly making slices at his neck, and then it it shifts away right away to a still frame of his, you know, allegedly his body with his head on. So, top just of it. to be clear, in the version of this video you've seen, I saw uh, the video, okay. the, the video that was supposedly released. You're by saying IS. the the head does not actually come off of the person's body in the video footage. You it only see not. sawing. You only see sawing and the aftermath. It, yes. Still sounds, uh, well, Luke, thanks for clarifying that for us, man. I do appreciate uh, the call. I'm glad some, I'm, I don't know if I'm saying, I'm, I ever really want to say I'm glad someone watched it, but thanks for the call. I appreciate the info. There's more coming up here on Free Talk Live. You can share your thoughts. Question. Could too many GMO foods and toxins be overloading your digestive and immune systems? Answer, yes. If you're searching for a powerful detox that's gentle enough to use every day, use Pro-EM1 from Terragonics. Pro-EM1 is a powerful liquid probiotic that uses good bacteria to suppress pathogens and gently eliminate toxins from your body. A healthy digestive system will cleanse and remove toxins, support weight loss, improve absorption of food nutrients, and aid in controlling yeast and other infections. Pro-EM1 is made with only non-GMO and certified organic ingredients, has no preservatives, and is dairy, soy, wheat, and gluten-free. Pro-EM1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM1 daily probiotic cleanse at terraganics.com. Spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Or call toll-free 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro-EM1 from Terraganics. Life's getting better. As their leadership. The Surgeon General warns teens the cinnamon challenge is not for pussies. Taylor Swift is now dating the Watertown boat, and a middle aged funeral director buys a flashy red hearse. We pity your pathetic dependence on this for your weekly news, but here we go anyway. This is the Onion Week in Review. A study released this week by the National Institutes of Health confirmed that for the 25th straight year, wolf attacks remain the leading cause of death in the United States. The Human Health Agency's findings confirmed that being viciously killed by a ravenous wolf claimed the lives of over 800 thousand Americans last year alone, with researchers adding that one person in the United States dies every 40 seconds from a violent wolf attack. The mortality rate associated with wolf attacks vastly outstrips the death tolls of cancer, stroke, and chronic respiratory disease. People should know that anyone... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is the Onion News Network.
35% of U.S. credit accounts are facing collection agencies. Of that 35, almost 40% are the result of medical bills. Before uninsured friends or family go in for medical treatment, send them to asiarunlikehellguide.com. No computer tracing, no tracking cookies. They will not go on a list. Privacy matters. Just tell us what you need. Get a quote. Fractions of U.S. prices. asiarunlikehellguide.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. All right, we watched it. The toll-free number here is 855-453. We're going to play the remainder of it here uh, for you to hear the audio track of this uh, alleged decapitation video. And I want to thank Luke for calling in uh, to explain what actually happened in the video. And when he explained it, I was surprised to hear that there was a cutaway and, uh, and that they don't actually show the decapitation. Having seen the Nick Berg video from years ago, which I found absolutely disgusting, uh, where they actually do show the act of the removal of the person's head, that doesn't happen in this video, as Luke pointed out. And I will link over to this. I haven't yet done it, but on our Facebook, Google+, and Twitter, I will put the link up to the video so you can uh, take a closer look when, if you feel so inspired want to also let you know about Pro XPN. We'll continue. We'll take your calls here in a moment. Pro XPN brings you the phone lines here. And if you care about online privacy, you really need to check out Pro XPN. It's a global virtual private network, and they encrypt your online data, meaning that before your information reaches the internet service provider, whatever one that you use, it's being encrypted by Pro XPN. So your ISP no longer knows what you're doing online. Right now, your internet service provider is probably logging every website you visit, every search term you enter. You can stop that from happening. Just go and download the ProXPN software for free at proxpn.com slash FTL. Grab it for Windows, Macintosh, iOS devices, as well as Android devices. Linux users, setup's a little different for you, but it's pretty simple. Now, you can get a sweet discount when you use code FTL50. It gets you 50% off the price of the annual account that breaks down the price to about 5 bucks a month. Get you unlimited bandwidth, servers around the world you can access, private torrenting ability, plus you can get uh, past regionally blocked websites. So use code FTL50 to sign up for that premium account at proxpn.com slash FTL. And again, that discount is good for the lifetime of the account. But if that's not deep enough for you, you can go and get a 62% discount on the annual plan by using code FTLBTC and paying with Bitcoin. So again, go to proxpn.com slash FTL. Use either code FTL50 if you're paying with credit card or FTLBTC for Bitcoin at proxpn.com slash FTL. Risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee of nothing to lose but more of your privacy. 
story from the Daily Mail describes the scene that you see in this video, which I will be posting to our Facebook and such here shortly, wearing an orange jumpsuit with his head shaven. The man in alleged captivity is James Wright Foley, a photographer, independent uh, photojournalist. He's uh, dressed in all orange, and his voice is strong, but he often pauses to take deep breaths and appears to struggle at times to swallow as he battles against fear. The is that so? I, I thought that the man's delivery was quite good for somebody who is going to be beheaded in uh, a minute. That, yeah. The executioner, who speaks directly into the camera in what appears to be a British accent, then blames President Barack Obama for Foley's death before he brutally beheads. Foley blamed him, too. Well, Foley was obviously reading a script. Clearly. Um, written by the people who were allegedly filming the video. Uh, before he brutally beheads the brave reporter in front of the camera. But that's not what happens, at the very least, in this live leak version. And when video like this hits the internet, it, in a lot of cases, gets censored on various different sites. But live leak, historically, has been the site to go to to see the real McCoy. So I presume this is the the actual full on video, and that there's not another one out there that does show the decapitation because this doesn't. Okay, here's my take on this. I'm gonna be honest, as coming from somebody that has already done videos on the fact that I am I don't like conspiracy theories. I think they distract from the movement. Mm -hmm. I am gonna go out on a limb here and say if this is the real version, and based on um. The fact that it's on live link, I think it is. Um, I I don't think it's real. Um, I watched it. Uh, first of all, my first clue is that um, these people have never spared us any detail before. They want it to be as gruesome as possible to get their message across. And if, um, you know, if they want it to be gruesome, they're not going to cut things out. Second of all... Um, That's the biggest red flag to me, yeah. is that it wasn't the complete decapitation. And there was no reason to not put that out there, like you're saying here, Lauren. If yeah. they want to scare people and terrify people, that's a that's one way to do it, right. is to put that out there. Um, also, it does seem unrealistic that they could cut... They would saw his head like that with such a small blade. Um as as a knife owner and a knife enthusiast, it does not seem realistic. It, it would be very difficult to do that. Um, well, and, you're an, you're a knife owner and a knife enthusiast, but have you ever decapitated an animal? No, no. Uh, so in that case, I don't know. It, it, um, it'd be interesting to hear from somebody who was a, a hunter, a regular kind of animal cutter with knives. Well, I mean, we hunted, was. but not for with animals that have nearly that thick of. Uh, I, so Next. it's possible, um, in my opinion, it's possible that this knife was what they attempted to begin cutting his head off with. I have a, mm -hmm. I have my doubts that they got his head off very easily with an what appeared to be something like a five inch six, blade. Yeah, maybe six maximum. Yes, yeah. max. Large. I mean, this doesn't this doesn't even look like a K bar. Um, I mean, it's not even that big, and. Uh, you would think that if you wanted to take somebody's head off that you would use an axe or a, uh, you know, like a executioner's sword or something like that. You'd want to be able to get some some speed and some momentum to do such a thing. This guy and, and to if me, I recall the Nick Berg video, there was a knife involved in that, but it was a larger knife uh, involved in that. Did they hack at it? I don't recall. OK, I just remember it being horrifying. Um <laughs> I, I'm not saying you couldn't take a head off with a knife. I'm just saying that, you know, we saw the very beginning of it if we saw anything, and then we saw what could have very well been in this, you know, in this day of special effects could very well have been a faked body. I felt like been. all, most of the power of this video was taken out of it. I mm -hmm. was really impressed with the things that uh, that Foley read. Um, you know, like they, uh, I'm like, wow, this man is brave going to his death like this. Um, and then at the end, I'm like, I'm like, I don't know what I'm seeing here. I can't tell what's going on. There was no blood, but he wasn't sawing for very long either. Right, before they cut the camera on right. the sawing scene. So, so. It, maybe a second of right. like two or three saws across his throat, like a second of video, cut, no blood.
and then cut and then to the scene of the cut body. Cut to the scene of a body that is very gruesome looking. Could quite could be the you know could be his head. Let me give you the statement from the man with the knife here. This is the second portion of the video. We started playing it earlier in the hour. Didn't get a chance to get all the way through it. So here it is. Thank John. Who did they really kill? This is the journalist at the very end of what and he did. Did they think about me, you, our family, when they made that decision? He's talking to his brother, who's in the military. I died that day, John. When your colleagues dropped that bomb on those people, they signed my death certificate. I wish I had more time. I wish I could have the hope of freedom and seeing my family once again. But that ship has sailed. I guess, all in all, I wish I wasn't American. This is James Wright Foley, an American citizen of your country. As a government, you have been at the forefront of the aggression towards the Islamic State. You have plotted against us and gone far out of your way to find reasons to interfere in our affairs. Today, your military air force is attacking us daily in Iraq. Your strikes have caused casualties amongst Muslims. You are no longer fighting an insurgency. We are an Islamic army and a state that has been accepted by a large number of Muslims worldwide. So effectively, any aggression towards the Islamic State is an aggression towards Muslims from all walks of life who have accepted the Islamic Caliphate as their leadership. So any attempt by you, Obama, to deny the Muslims their rights of living in safety under the Islamic Caliphate will result in the bloodshed of your people. That's where the uh, beheading uh, allegedly begins. Again, the video ends with a shot of the body, what is alleged to be the body, and then another man in orange being held uh, captive. This is another alleged uh, journalist that they supposedly have in captivity, and he's supposed to be next on the chopping block if Obama doesn't do what they want, which is to leave them alone and stop the bombing campaign. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. What do you think should be done about this? 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live. Crashed. The Death of the Dollar. It's a hot new novel that has a lot of people talking. It explores what our government's reaction to a U.S. currency collapse would be. And when the government nationalizes all supply chains in an effort to keep order, the sentiment voiced towards such a tyranny is, we're not picking the fight. The government already did that. We'll just be fighting back for a change. This is a great book, but don't take my word for it. Look at the reviews on Amazon. Bernie says, Crashed is a really terrifying trip. It is thought-provoking. It makes you wonder, what if? Could this happen? Gary Jones ads this is an excellent book it is also a little scary because it could very well be true i hope it's fiction and julia moffett calls it a gripping read and the most exciting insightful book this year crash is a fast-paced read that has two-thirds of its amazon reviewers calling for a sequel this book is totally worth your time it's well researched liberty oriented realistic gripping and gritty do yourself a favor and don't miss this one get your copy at amazon crashed the death of the dollar by william cooper I didn't believe it. Neither did I. No way could you professionally remove unwanted hair, pain-free, and at home. My thoughts exactly. Remove my face and body hair without expensive, painful office visits. Not possible. Great minds think alike. Until I tried No-No Pro. Mm-hmm. Wait, you tried No-No? Yes, and it works. I use it on my face, legs, bikini line. We're BFFs, and you didn't tell me about No-No? Here, this is my new No-No Pro. The most powerful No-No made. Custom treatment levels, less hair in less time, perfect for any skin type. Try it. No hair, no pain, no time consuming expensive office visits no no and no no for a limited time you can try no no pro risk-free you'll also get the facial kit and a travel case get weeks of long-lasting results that's it i'm getting a no no great minds do think alike (laughs) try no no pro risk-free by calling 800-952-5760 800 952 5760. That's 800 952 5760. 800 952 5760. A meme is not easy to define. What is it? But you know it when you see it. Amazing. Don't tread on meme.com proves that. I feel so enlightened. Don't tread on meme, M E M E, helping you give the finger to our monetary system of deception by providing you with silver dime trading cards. Unlike today's dollar, they have value and they look neat too. Oh, would you look at those? Aren't those just swell? Don't tread on meme.com. While you're browsing their numerous silver dime card designs, take time to download the easy to use silver calculator app. This simple piece of technology lets you know instantly whether using iPhone or Android, 
just how much your silver coin is worth. Find out all the details at DontTreadOnMeme.com. Now accepting Bitcoin. Don't Tread on Meme, your path to a voluntary society with honest money. DontTreadOnMeme.com, serving you faster than the Fed prints money. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Hi, this is Michael Dean from the Freedom Fiends Radio Show. The internet has lowered the cost barrier for a worldwide radio show to a price approaching zero. Yet there is one arena where you still need thousands of dollars to approach the audio quality of the corporate media. Doing a live spoken show with more than one host in different geographic locations. Our program, Fiend Phone, will solve that problem and it will be given away free. Go to fiendphone.com to see what you can do to help. That's F-E-E-N-P-H-O-N-E dot com. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can take control toll-free. Kind of a conspiracy theory night here on Free Talk Live. Is this beheading video for real? And if it is real, why cut out the actual process of the beheading? Some argue on, uh, let's see, this BuzzFeed? No, not BuzzFeed. The site is, I don't know where it was. But anyway, some were arguing on Reddit. That's where it was. Uh, That essentially that this was real, but that ISIS doesn't want to focus on the violence. They want to focus on the message. That doesn't make any sense, though. Why yeah, fake really... a beheading video if you don't want to focus on violence? Right. Well, just release a video of the reporter. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, yeah. you know, like have have him on the have him read your your thing and then go back to his little room that you're keeping him in or whatever. So we can continue. Your calls and thoughts are welcome. The toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. Go get a free pound of coffee at coffee.freetalklive.com. Shade grown, 100% organic, top 1% grade Arabica coffee. It's delicious. It's the among the best coffee you'll drink in your life, likely. Um, and you can get a free pound. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Now, it's a subscription. You sign up for a subscription there. But if you continue to get the coffee through the subscription after you get your free pound, you can cancel at any time. You'll be helping us help people around the world because for every 10 people that get their coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com, it funds another microloan that we can give to another family, another person who's trying to, you know, make a life for themselves in a place where, you know, they don't have money and suffering is beyond what we could imagine. Please consider getting your coffee at coffee.freetalklive.com. All right, so I am posting the link up to this alleged beheading video, and uh, so you're welcome to take a closer look at it if that's something that you would like to do. Our toll-free number here tonight is 855-450-FREE. We'll give you what the Pentagon is saying about ISIS. They claim it's a threat beyond anything they've ever seen. Uh, So we'll get uh, into that as well. The toll-free number brought to you by ProXPN is 855-450-FREE. We had played... The video earlier, the audio track, which uh, you know basically is this guy in orange, the alleged American Foley, who is uh, James Wright Foley, who is in captivity or has been in captivity since 2012. He's now allegedly dead, and he reads a statement about how essentially Barack Obama is the one responsible for putting him to death by engaging in a bombing campaign against people in Iraq. Uh, The suggestion in the video later is that if the bombing campaign continues, that they have another journalist that they will be putting to death. So perhaps maybe the next video they will have listened to the critiques and (laughs) will put the full uh, video in. But Lauren, you seem pretty... uh, pretty sure that this is some sort of a fake yeah i think it's bs um i think that um they covered his head in fake blood that's a fake body and they've got his head sticking up they've got him buried in the sand you think that's his real head yeah i think they just at the end 
Yeah. Is he is he knocked out? Is but he dead? But I don't dead? think that body's real. I mean, it wouldn't be that hard to make a fake body, mm -hmm. um, put his head through the body, cover it in a little bit of blood, and have the rest of his this, body buried under the sand. I mean, I mean, this is a simple magician's trick. That's I mean, the they only thing they could do. They right? saw people in half all the time on stage. I'm telling you, this is fake. Well, I don't know. I'm not going to claim. I don't know anything, but I'm going to say that that's really his head. Now, yes. I'm not going to claim that it is attached to his body or not attached to his body. But you you can't make a wax model that looks like somebody's head. You just can't get that close. Mm -hmm. nope. So I would say that that's his head. But the man read voluntarily a um, you know a, a relatively you don't know long. If it was voluntary. He okay. was under. He was captured. He read it. He read under the duress. Correct. And he could very, there very well pose for a picture. It was just a photo sure. of uh, his decapit, you know, of his decapitation, um, and like, hey, you can go back to your room after we're done here. Um, the you know, Nick. there was also very little blood on the neck too. The, like normally, if you had decapitated a head, there would be a pool of blood under the body. You know, like just spilling well, everywhere. I mean, the neck, the neck has tons of veins in so it. The main that artery, just, the, car yes. the cardioid artery. I think. Yeah, I, that's what I was going to say, but I, I wasn't quite Let, positive. Let's what go it was to called. Kurt. He's listening in Durham, North Carolina, to Talk Radio 850. Hey, Kurt, you're on the air. Hey, um, yeah, I, I uh, looked at that video uh, yesterday, and uh, it's an unfortunate situation. I mean, I, 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 you know, really feel for the families of both the reporters. However, the thing that really uh, hit me was, uh, of course, uh, the last scene where the body was laying down and the head was laying on his back uh, almost appeared to be photoshopped. The other thing that gets me is the relative calm of Mr. Foley uh, reciting uh, this uh, dogma that was given to him. Uh, if you or I were in a position that were to be beheaded, I'm sure that we would not be so calm. And that is something that really hit me uh, right off the bat. And the other thing is is the small uh, implement of the uh, beheader. Uh, being a, you know, maybe an eight inch blade, however sharpened it was. And the thing is, is you look at the body laying on the ground, uh, there would be blood at least halfway off that mm -hmm. back. Yes. See, I'm with you. Yeah. They just, that, that's a main artery. So what is, okay. Yeah. So, so the idea that this is fake seems plausible at this point. <laughs> I think but, likely but is it. what's the, the real story then? I mean, now we're talking about total well, speculation. Story, well, I think the real story is, is uh, obviously they want ransom, whatever. Uh, of course, they haven't heard anything back from Mr. Foley, nor uh, I can't remember the other fellow's name. Uh, I really do feel that it's a, a prop. Uh, who, who faked you know, it, to your mind? Was well, it... I think I, I suspect is in the sense that they have basically uh, are trying to, you know, over uh, international media to project this uh, abomination of, uh, you know, the selective uh, beheadings and whatnot that basically uh, retorts back to their you know, their semblance of uh, disorder and uh, wanton destruction uh, within Syria. But why fake it? And why? I mean, if it's really ISIS, because the, the more plausible they're faking it story to me would be that, as Lauren was suggesting, it's the U.S. government who's doing it to propagandize or, people against or ISIS. No, but I mean, okay, do you remember the one, not Daniel Pearl, but the other fellow? Berg, Nick Berg? I can't remember his name. Yeah. Nickberg. Now that was an actual beheading. Oh, yes, it was. And they saw it through that guy's neck. And uh, there's no way that this, in my opinion, now he was, you know, he was definitely beheaded. Yeah, and and they, these, these, they did it on camera these, with no regard. Yeah. I mean, they didn't blank out yeah. or anything. I mean, they're not no. afraid to scare us. And if that's the point, which obviously no. that's the point, so is to why, scare us. Why then. would it be? If this well, was Well, I don't ISIS. think there's a there. And let's point out that they've had this guy for two years. You get to know right. people. Mm -hmm. And I just True. wonder whether they say, look, the live hostage is more valuable than the dead hostage. And but everybody thinks he's dead now. Well, so why oh, yeah, is it more I mean, valuable? A couple what, more what weeks. Well, what are you going to gain by killing someone like Mr. Foley or the other uh, one less mouth there? to feed in the jail? 
No, nah, I mean it's. I mean these these folks are being basically. Uh, they've got millions of dollars that are coming to them. Uh, basically, it's 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 terrorism. Well, and it's, I think it's fake terrorism. If it's fake, then they're not the, the monsters is, they you know that that the U.S. government no, would like monsters. us to believe. No, they, are. they are monsters. No, they are monsters because what they've done in Syria is definitely uh, on a Holocaust. Who are the worst monsters? Uh, them or the U.S. government? Okay, you know what? I don't. I'm uh, not even well, sure that the things. I, I, I mean, United States. You got to realize the amount of time that we have spent in the Middle East. I mean, it's gone back. I'm going to tell you exactly what happened after World War One. All these areas were part of the Ottoman Empire. That's right. And then you had the Pinchon uh, Sykes Agreement that basically drew these uh, lines. incredible lines. Mm-hmm that defined uh, the nomadic tribes. And yep. that's what you've got today. And that's what we're dealing with in this tribal. And if you ever read the book called Lawrence in Arabia, you'll understand what it is. Now, there was a very small faction, which you could consider today as being Al-Qaeda, that basically uh, was very small at that point. However, uh, the majority of them wanted peace. They wanted uh, assimilation to become somewhat of a nation. And uh, between dealing after World War I with the French and English, uh, things ended up being what they are today. And then you had the Americans coming into Iran, which is basically singled off. I mean, everything we've ever done, I mean, you look at Yugoslavia with Tito. Once Tito died, you had the uh, Serbian-Croatian issue. And, you know, I mean, and then the same thing with... uh, it seems to me, no. Kurt, that the U.S. government has way more blood on their hands than does these folks in ISIS. I don't think that makes them good people. Thanks for the call tonight. I appreciate no, hearing from you. Okay. No, I don't think it makes either side good. Thanks, Kurt. Appreciate hearing from you. More on the way. It's Free Talk Live. The Lumber Liquidators Fall Flooring Kickoff Sale is on with over 250 of the latest styles all on sale now. Get Black Forest Oak Laminate for a crazy 39 cents a square foot. Beautiful and durable bamboo for just $159. Classic pre-finished gunstock oak hardwood for $149. All gorgeous Bella Wood pre-finished hardwood is on sale. Plus get special 24-month financing. Go to LumberLiquidators.com today to find the store nearest you. Hurry, this sale ends Tuesday the 2nd. The fall flooring season is here. Why aren't you? Hi. This is Michael Dean from the Freedom Fiends Radio Show. The Internet has lowered the cost barrier for a worldwide radio show to a price approaching zero. Yet there is one arena where you still need thousands of dollars to approach the audio quality of the corporate media. Doing a live spoken show with more than one host in different geographic locations. Our program, Fiend Phone, will solve that problem and it will be given away free. Go to fiendphone.com to see what you can do to help. That's F-E-E-N-P-H-O-N-E dot com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to MyMagicMud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin. MyMagicMud.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Thursday, August 21st, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,276, silver opened at $19.35, and Bitcoin is trading around $525.92. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Roberts & Roberts Brokerage Incorporated, specializing in precious metals since 1977. Online at rrbi.co or by phone 800-874-9760. 
In the news, last year several individuals were arrested across the globe in the massive government takedown of Silk Road, a Bitcoin-based online black market. One of the website's alleged administrators has been held on house arrest since last December. His name is Andrew Michael Jones of Virginia, and his parents paid the $1 million bond to keep him out of a cage while he waits a trial. His next hearing is in September. Freekeen.com reports that Andrew is a participant in the Free State Project, a movement to migrate 20,000 liberty-minded people to the state of New Hampshire. His mother and fiancé have created a fundraising website asking for help with his defense. Learn more at drewdefense.org. Yesterday, we reported on the American journalist Jim Foley, who was beheaded by ISIS, the Islamic group seeking to create a theocratic state in Syria and Iraq. President Obama, who was called out in the video, had the opportunity to respond, taking a break from his vacation at Martha's Vineyard. The president was quick to condemn the acts, telling media at a press conference that no just God would stand for what they did and for what they do every single day. Speaking of ISIS, he said they have rampaged across cities and villages, killing innocent unarmed civilians in cowardly acts of violence. It's likely the beheading will lead to ramped-up military strikes against ISIS targets in Iraq. The Obama administration is promising to make changes to the controversial no-fly list after a federal judge recently ruled defendants had no meaningful way to challenge the designation. The Justice Department has promised to change the rules regarding the list sometime in the next six months. The government has not released any details on specific changes. Earlier this summer, an unknown whistleblower gave The Intercept new details on the way the no-fly lists work. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Brave New Books, your local source for all things Bitcoin. Now hosting a Bitcoin ATM located in Austin, Texas, 1904 Guadalupe Street or online bravenewbookstore.com. And support comes from the notorious activist Michael Cargill, who has a new show called Come and Talk It, live Sunday afternoons at 4 o'clock on 1370 AM in Austin. This is the Liberty Beat. For Thursday, August 21st, 2014, check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. On Thursday, Houston Mayor Anise Parker released a statement about the prospect of Houston police officers wearing body cameras. Mayor Parker told KPRC Houston she believes cameras can be useful in documenting the actions of both the public and the police. She said Houston is currently in the test phase with some precincts of the Harris County Sheriff's Department and the Houston Police Department testing out the cameras. The mayor told KPRC that finding funding for new technology is always difficult. A new report by a Justice Department watchdog group said the FBI has made some improvements with their use of controversial national security letters. The letters have been used to unconstitutionally collect telephone numbers, ISPs, and other information without a judge's approval. Previous reports have found widespread violations of policy. The report said some improvements have been made while making 10 new recommendations. Amagi Metals, an online dealer in precious metals and coins, announced today that they will stop taking U.S. dollars for payments at the end of 2016. That decision comes as more and more Americans are strongly feeling the effects of inflation with every purchase from food to travel. Amagi plans to trade exclusively in cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin or Litecoin. Amagi Metals has always been keen on crypto. They recently began accepting Dogecoin as payment, and Bitcoin now accounts for over 40% of the company's transactions. Stephen McCaskill, the owner of Amagi Metals, says customers holding dollars or other fiat currency will still be able to do business with the company on the company's e-commerce store. According to McCaskill, the company will offer customers the ability to convert their fiat money to cryptocurrency on their website at the current exchange rate, whatever that may be. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Cabo Bob's. Non-GMO chips, homemade tortillas, and no high fructose corn syrup in anything. Visit them at one of their two locations in Austin, 500 East Benway Boulevard and 2828 Rio Grande near the UT campus. This is the Liberty Beat for Thursday, August 21st, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. After years of weekly meetings with his psychologist, local man Chris Vaughn told reporters today he was excited to only have two sessions left before completely resolving all of his emotional issues and never having the need to return to another therapy session again. When I started therapy, I knew if I could make it through exactly 120 50-minute sessions with Dr. Warner, then all of my issues with depression and crippling anxiety would be gone. Next week, we're covering my parents. The week after that, we're wrapping up my trust issues. 
and then I should be good to go. According to Vaughn, it took 40 sessions alone to fully resolve his feelings of inadequacy and low self-esteem resulting from an unhappy childhood. Vaughn's therapist, Dr. Susan Warner, told Onion reporters that she's pleased with her patient's progress and relieved that his longtime emotional and cognitive issues are nearly solved for good. I told him that getting healthy would take at least 100 hours of therapy, and now he'll never have to see me again. Thank God for that. That guy was a real piece of work. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. We're launching into the second hour of the program. Plenty of time for your calls and thoughts about what you want. We were reviewing the video of uh, the alleged beheading of American photojournalist, independent uh, photojournalist James Wright Foley. There's a video of what appears to have him sitting or kneeling, rather, uh, on the ground out in some sort of a desert area with a man dressed in all black uh, standing next to him carrying a knife. After giving a pre-written speech fully, then uh, well, then the man in black gives a, a, some sort of a statement and proceeds to begin cutting at Foley's neck. The video then cuts away after about a second of sawing, or what appears to be sawing, at his neck and then shows a still frame, a pan still frame, of the alleged body with James Foley's head, or what appears to be his head, uh, sitting atop the back. So some are saying this looks fake, and I think the best claim, uh, the best question, big question mark about this video is that you know, they don't show it. And there have been videos in the past where they have shown someone being decapitated, and they're absolutely horrifying. That's why I was, af I was afraid to watch this video. I started the show tonight having not watched it, and then one of our callers, Luke, called in to describe what he saw happen in the video. He said it cuts away. And so we all watched it. First, at first, none of us wanted to watch it tonight. Right. And then we all sat and watched it. And of course, I was dreading it. I'm like, oh, God, what are we going to watch here? Because I was thinking maybe the guy who had called in had seen an edited version or something like that. But uh, no, apparently the original version that was released, it's got this cutaway. And then, Lauren, you were talking about how you thought maybe there would be more blood. Another one of our callers said that he would have expected, given the uh, the you know the arteries going yeah. through the neck, uh, that there would be a lot more blood splashed on his, you know, just a lot clothing. of red flags. And then apparently, it doesn't have that in the very uh, ending frame of the film. So, the, but that just raises more questions, right? Like because as soon it's as you a lot get of questions, in, as soon as you get into conspiracy land, then all of a sudden, different. And I promised myself I wasn't going to get in conspiracy. And and the thing is, is that guys, you got to remember, even if this video is fake, it's not something that we need to make a humongous focus on. We need to recognize that it is fake, spread the word that it is fake, but this this shouldn't be a reason to get rid of the government. The well, reason I... to get rid of the government, even if it was put out by the government, the reason to get rid of the government has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the fact that we shouldn't be ruled at all. And and that's the thing is that's why I don't like conspiracy theory. But wait a minute, Lauren, don't we need the government to protect us from ISIS? I mean, these guys allegedly want to kill Americans. They've got another photojournalist, if you believe the video, that they're about ready to execute. I mean, I mean you could be next. That's the thing is that according to the U.S. government, everybody wants to kill us, you know? Mm -hmm. And they are, they're just our our safety, our protectors. And, and, you know, just come into our arms and we'll save you. And, and that's the thing is that... Um, it's like a chick crawling into a lion's mouth to try and get warmth. Hmm. I would rather, you know, I would rather freeze to death. Um, I don't well, know where to New Hampshire. you guys stand. Um, oh, I, it's what warm I'm, here. I don't know. <laughs> even if this video to me is suspect, I don't know mm -hmm. why. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not going to make a claim whether I believe it's real or not. I don't know. It's got some big questions. But I don't know who. If if it's not real, I don't know who did it or why they did it. Right. I'm just like, well, that's not convincing at all. The thing is, is that um, I talk about conspiracy theories as a um, magic trick. So it's like sleight of hand. We distract people with this obviously 
raw, like fake video or, you know, fake facts about 9-11 or anything else you can come up with conspiracy related. And people are so f- hyper focused on this one thing that they can't prove that the public, A, starts to think we're crazy and B, um, we forget about what it is before all of this, even if this weren't happening. If, if the government weren't involved in all of these horrible incidents where Americans died or other people died, it doesn't matter whether they're Americans or not. People are dying from the U.S. government. And we forget the fact that we should be free in the first place because because of, you know, the fact that well, wait a we, minute. What, what nature— a, How would you forget that exactly? I mean, I haven't forgotten that. Um. I think people forget that when they get involved in conspiracy. I think. Oh, that, in the in conspiracy. Right, theory. because the conspiracy becomes okay, the reason. Okay, because you were saying we, and I'm like, wait a minute. Who? Oh no 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 no. You mean those? The conspiracy I'm sorry, people? I used we too loosely. I meant people who are involved in conspiracy, too deeply involved in conspiracies, often make the conspiracy the reason why we should be free. Mm-hmm. Like, look at this horrible thing that they did that I can't really truly prove. But yeah. um, I mean, I've got good evidence, and th- that's all well and good. But that's not the reason that you should be free is because we need to be free from that we need to be free because we have a right as human beings to not be treated as animals right what you're saying is is that the the government if the government is bad and would make a video like this and a bad you know if if it was fake and the government made it it is a very bad action um then people would just necessarily wouldn't necessarily say well just because that government's bad then all people who wish to rule over others in a monopolistic fashion like uh, the state does, then they're all bad. It's just saying, oh, well, this one's bad, so we just need an- another better one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we it's see that it's a lot. even more than that. I mean, people just hyper focus on these little tiny activities. Well, and, right, I and mean, they don't seem tiny at the time, but I mean, even 9 11, we don't really talk about it that much anymore. Thank goodness. I'm so sick of that uh, that discussion. People yeah. have been calling for years about that here on Free Talk Live. And, yeah. you know, maybe you're right here as well, Lauren. Maybe we're getting too distracted by the we details are. in this video as well. I mean, arguing or discussing, I don't feel like there's an argument here, but more of a discussion no. about, you know, is this real? What would it really look like if it were real you know obviously we don't have much personal experience on watching people being decapitated but i did see the nick berg video and i remember it being much more disturbing and complete uh in comparison to this but it is is still interesting to think about this like you know because where does it go or what why why create this fake video? What's going on with this guy? If if it's fake, is James Wright Foley still alive? Is he sitting, you know, in a in a cage somewhere? Yeah. Is he, you know, getting uh getting his his family being taken care of? Or I hope he's like okay. I it really just, do. And it just doesn't make any sense to th- me. Why why fake this video? I guess the best argument is that the government wants people to believe this ISIS these ISIS guys are a real threat. It's gov- it's Obama pushing his agenda because he just announced that we're going to stay at war. Um, and he's got to, uh, people are really upset but why because they fake know it? that he broke his promise. But why fake but why fake it? Why if you've got this because guy Obama and you've had him for two promise. years? What, but why fake the video? If you're going to have a video of this guy looking decapitated, why fake it? Because Obama is a freaking coward. That's why. I don't think because, Obama ordered you know, this video to be made. I mean, that just doesn't make sense. That you know, even if it was a conspiracy admitted, theory, whatever. The people in charge are cowards. Whatever. So, there was the U.S. government holding this Nick Foley guy for two years. It's um, James Foley. James Foley. I'm sorry, Nick. James Foley. Um, were they holding him for two years? I mean, that's crazy talk i i mean i can hardly right. believe as that soon as you, as, right, i don't as, know that's the problem with the, with this theory that this isn't a real video Be- as soon as you go into the theory that it's not real you go off into crazy land where nothing makes much sense that's anymore. why we can talk about it in our circle we can talk about it in our libertarian circle but i don't think that this is something we want to talk to outsiders about this is well, just these well, are the, the things we're on the radio right now so i mean there's all kinds of people listening <laughs> i mean this, but it's mostly it's mostly libertarian i wouldn't go that no, far not at all we're no? on you know we're on over 160 radio stations coast to coast there oh. are all kinds of people listening well. to this uh, this radio <laughs> show right now and i'd love to get your thoughts at toll free number 855 450 free but if they've watched the video i'm sorry Sorry, go ahead. 855. 450 free. And if they've watched the video, they likely are as skeptical as we are. All right. I mean, so- you you have to be. It it's it's so fake. And it's it's, it's so poorly done. I, All right. So I, I just the- don't know. I'm 
Just don't know. Another question, though, is, you know, the larger question is, let's presume this is real. And even if this isn't real, there have been people who have been decapitated in the past. That much is yes. true. Uh, so how do you stop that from happening? Of course, the best answer, in my opinion, is to, and the most more freedom-oriented one, is to get the government out of the idea of protection services. Get them out of the, uh, the, the military. Pull them back from around the world. And I'd like to see them shut down and then let people individually decide on your on your own how to protect yourself. You want to hire somebody with a tank or some sort of mercenary squad to protect you if you feel like you need that level of protection. You should be free to do that. Just don't force me or anybody I care about to, to pay for it. Yeah, it's it's crashed. The Death of the Dollar. It's a hot new novel that has a lot of people talking. It explores what our government's reaction to a U.S. currency collapse would be. And when the government nationalizes all supply chains in an effort to keep order, the sentiment voiced towards such a tyranny is, we're not picking the fight. The government already did that. We'll just be fighting back for a change. This is a great book, but don't take my word for it. Look at the reviews on Amazon. Bernie says, Crashed is a really terrifying trip. It is thought-provoking. It makes you wonder, what if? Could this happen? Gary Jones ads this is an excellent book it is also a little scary because it could very well be true i hope it's fiction and julia moffett calls it a gripping read and the most exciting insightful book this year crashed is a fast-paced read that has two-thirds of its amazon reviewers calling for a sequel this book is totally worth your time it's well researched liberty oriented realistic gripping and gritty do yourself a favor and don't miss this one get your copy at amazon crashed the death of the dollar by william cooper Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. Did you know that Free Aid is a mutual aid, educational, and networking organization? At Free Aid, we support volunteers who provide first aid. We do outreach to the public about health and safety, and we bring together medically skilled freedom lovers. Free Aid is made possible by your generous support. Donors can receive great gifts like first aid kits, t shirts, silver dime cards, and hoodies. The Free Aid Silver Dime Card Project is sponsored in part by Roberts and Roberts Burgridge, Freedoms Phoenix, and Don't Tread on Meme. Visit fr33aid.com. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. This is 
Free Talk Live. Take control toll free. Dial in at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Join us online. Go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features waiting for you on the site. Just go. It's free. freetalklive.com. The Marijuana Investment Conference. It's in Houston at the Weston Houston Memorial City on September the 8th, bright and early. So I'm headed out there, and I'll be mingling and finding out what the trends are in the uh, nascent and burgeoning field of marijuana. The market is new and wide open. Lots of people are going to be making lots of money in the uh, marijuana field in the next few years. Uh, this isn't some convention where you're going to look at uh, different types of uh, you know glass bongs or anything like this. This is a um, they're focused on exclusively bringing investors and legalized marijuana businesses together to create opportunities and grow the sector. Now, I've never heard of such a conference like this before. It proposes, proposes to offer um, entrepreneurs the opportunity to pitch their businesses and ideas to bona fide investors, whether formally or in a casual networking environment. So please join me at the Weston Houston Memorial City on September the 8th, bright and early. Register to get the, the discount, marijuanainvestmentconferences.com. Use coupon code FTL. I'll have some uh, FTL stuff to give away while we're there. And uh, as a matter of fact, if I can get 10 people to use that FTL code, covers all the expenses. Marijuanainvestmentconferences.com, code FTL. I haven't gotten any word back whether or not we've gotten 10 people, but uh, sure would love to have you. Marijuanainvestmentconferences.com, code FTL. I posted a link to the alleged beheading video on our Facebook, Google+, and Twitter, and asked the question, did they really do it? And if so, why not show it? And you have responded. We might share some of those responses here in a moment. And then Lauren's fired up about war. Maybe we'll talk about that, too. But first, we go to Lonnie. He is in Cleveland. Lonnie, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian, Lauren, and Mark. Yes, how you guys doing? Welcome, Lonnie. Go ahead um, with your thoughts tonight. Yeah, um, about to think about that is that, uh, you know, I think rich people or super elite have kind of turned that term into a, almost like a fairy tale. You know, it's used when they commit a crime. And Which it, term? It, I'm it, sorry, you it, cut out for just a moment at the beginning of your call. That's no problem. It's it's almost like the word, cons uh, the phrase conspiracy theory is, is almost, it, it's been turn into like a fairy tale. You know, rich people commit a crime or super elite or super powerful people commit a crime and, oh, that's a conspiracy theory. It's, uh, you know, it's Santa Claus. So, you know, of course it doesn't exist or it doesn't happen. Now, if I committed a crime, I'd, I'd want everybody to believe that, you know, it was a fairy tale. And it could never, never happen. happen. Yeah. Right. You know, but, you know, what I would say is that, of course, there are some people at the top that are running the show that are, that are criminals. And conspiracy theories or actual crimes that happen wake up a lot of people. You know, um, cops, all they do, and detectives, all they do is, you know, they have a theory that there's a conspiracy or a crime happening, and that's their whole job, you know, um, trying to discover or uncover that crime. So when um, the young lady was talking about how she doesn't want people to focus on conspiracy theories, well, you know, most people or some people aren't as educated as herself. So these conspiracy theories that most of them, I bet, are true, actually wake up people to the fact that uh, of what's going on, actually. So uh, I think they're... I actually had this discussion with um, an individual, Richard Heathen, uh, who runs um, Rebel Machine News. He um, he and I talked about conspiracy theory and did a mini debate on my show about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, he actually brought up that exact same point that, you know, a lot of people don't even know about the liberty movement and Alex Jones brings them in. And um, he's a very big conspiracy talk show host. Yes. And he's um, somewhat liberty oriented. Yeah. And and the thing is, is that that somewhat is the problem. And I think that people need to be coming in from an intellectual basis. And if if within the liberty movement they want to talk about, you know, how bad the government is, then that's one thing. But um, when we're projecting out into the world, when Alex Jones is one of the biggest um, 
quote unquote liberty things out there. And so um, I think he's a big voice. And so the problem is, is that that's what people are seeing. And a lot of people think that we're crazy for these views. And I'd rather bring them in from a standpoint of understanding and agreement. Mm. Um, And I think that we can agree on things philosophically. And um, I think there's no can't necessarily agree with everybody on you know on the cops are killing people you know L- Lonnie uh, well, I agree with you that there are definitely people who come into the the freedom movement from finding the conspiracy theory realm it's just I, I side with Lauren on this one it's kind of a dangerous place because you can kind of go off in a couple different directions when you get into conspiracy land like lizard people right you can go off down the rabbit hole or you can kind of find the ideas of liberty and then maybe kind of come to free talk live or, or come other to the shows. conclusion that there's really nothing you can do about uh, whatever the conspiracy theories are there's no way you can prove right. them so how are you going to shut down the Bilderbergers? yeah and because the minute that one of these conspiracies that we have out there on the alex jones show or any other show is disproven every one of our oh, there's been plenty of them that have been disproven i know but that's just it is those are the reasons that people think we're crazy and every time oh, that I don't happens know about that. there's all kinds of reasons that people think libertarians are crazy lonnie go ahead with your <laughs> thoughts anything else you want to share tonight yeah, I was just going to say, well, you know, like I said, more or less that term is just used, uh, uh, actually is probably propagated by individuals to, you know, kind of just get the reaction that you guys are giving. You know, I, you know, you don't want them to think conspiracy theory because this, that, it, but it's, it's just really a crime. I mean, these are crimes and, and it's nothing more or nothing less than that. And, and actually conspiracy theory, like I said, a theory is just the idea that something may be occurring and a conspiracy is a crime between individuals. So it's not like, mm-hmm. you know, the term is, you know, the moon man. Sure. No, and that's a great point. I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean you're crazy because you have a theory about right. something. You're only crazy if you're well, wrong. I feel it's kind of <laughs> been propagated to that. Point, you know, yep. where now if we use that term, it's like, well, where's the tinfoil hats? When you're right, I, I mean, the dividing you, line I, I between a, of- a, a pre, you know presumably legitimate sounding theory about what happened to JFK is not tantamount to a theory about lizard men uh, taking over the world. Right. Thanks for the call, Lonnie. I appreciate hearing yep, from yep. you. I guess some individual level of judgment needs to go into to listening to these things, but the problem with the conspiracy <laughs> realm is there's not a single major news story that there's not a, some sort of conspiracy angle on. I mean, whenever there's some sort at of some point, some point, you wonder whether there everything, every anything bad ever happened before whatever this deep dark shadowy group it was that took over. I want to point out that you just said it takes a level of individual judgment to be able to cipher through these conspiracy theories, you know, the difference between lizard men and, um, you know, this beheading. Mm -hmm. And, um, and that's just the thing is that uh, within the Liberty movement, I think we do have individual judgment, but I think a lot of people that are tuning in randomly don't necessarily have that judgment. And so when they realize that we're talking about lizard people, they just think everything else is crazy. Well, we're not talking about lizard people. <laughs> we talked s- about them several times. This not in any <laughs> serious manner. Not as though None we of believe us it. believe that. You're not I a believer, promise. are you? You're- no. Well, I don't believe in the lizard people. Mark, you don't either, right? No. I, I, no. All right. Only in number. my dreams. Toll free number is 855-450-FREE. You can take control here. This is Free Talk Live. Policies issued by American General Life Insurance Company, Houston, Texas. Not available in all states. For details, visit AIGdirect.com. It takes a lot of courage to face your own death, but I'm glad I finally did. See, I was putting off getting life insurance to protect my family, even though I knew it was important. Then my neighbor's husband died. I watched her struggle emotionally and financially. It really made me face reality. If my husband died, how would I pay the mortgage, the car payments, or keep up the life the kids and I had? I realized I needed to get us life insurance right away. So I called AIG Direct. In less than five minutes, I had a quote. I was shocked at how affordable it is. Just $14 a month for $250,000 of term life coverage. I feel so much better knowing my family has protection. Call AIG Direct right now for a free no-obligation quote. The call takes less than five minutes, and you can save up to 70%. Call now, 1-800-463-7479. That's 1-800-463-7479. 1-800-463-7479. Why did you move to the Shire? 
I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Hi, I'm Derek J. I don't want a politician to represent me. To me, government is the idea that one group of people can coerce everyone to comply with an edict or face increasing punishments up to and including death. Despite perhaps the most noble of intentions, the best government services are a far cry from what could be provided for by voluntary interactions. Besides, the people who call themselves the government wage wars and put peaceful people in jail for crimes involving no victims. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything you want, whether it's about the conspiracy theory of your choice or the beheading video, which is sort of what started us off Please into no. crazy land. Because once you stop believing that the beheading video that was released this week, allegedly by ISIS or ISIL, uh, once you stop believing that it's real, then all of a sudden there's it just nothing makes sense. You woke uh, up anymore. I don't know if you've woken up because I don't know if it's true that it's not real. I'm still not convinced that it is fake. Uh, it's just a possibility that it is fake to me. Lauren, you seem pretty convinced about uh, this. Th the thing is, is that I'm not convinced it's real. <laughs> That's just the thing is I'm that I'm not convinced I, either way. Um, I don't, it's proving a negative, you know. Share with us your thoughts. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. And also, if you need focus and are feeling fatigued and trying to get that extra edge when it counts, check out Modafinil from ModUp.net. Studies show one in five students use this cognitive enhancer, offering multiple benefits, including a double-digit increase in short-term memory, fighting off fatigue, and greater focus overall so you can get things done. Businessmen around the world are talking about Modafinil from ModUp.net and how it's making the difference in their work and giving them the critical edge they need. 
need. At modup.net, it's affordable for everyone to take advantage of the benefits of modafinil. They're 80 to 85% lower in price than the brand name. Don't mistake low prices for inferior quality, however. They ensure that purity and potency are consistent to that of the branded version. Remember, Free Talk Live is an international radio show, and modup.net ships worldwide. It's your responsibility to know if local prescription requirements and laws apply. Check out modup.net and get a sweet discount when you pay with Bitcoin, 33% off, and you make the deal even better by using code FTL, like Free Talk Live, and you'll get 10 free tablets with your order. So again, don't forget code FTL at modup, that's M-O-D-U-P dot net, world-class service at a great price on Modafinil. Let's jump into your calls and thoughts here. Chris is on the line with us listening in Mark and I's hometown of Sarasota, Florida. Hey, Chris, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, how's it going, guys? How you doing? Welcome, sir. You're on the air. Thanks. Um, yeah, I just was calling. You know, uh, you guys have a pretty interesting show that I happen to come across on the radio. And, uh, you know, I think you guys bring up interesting points, and uh, these are the types of things, you know, that kind of need to be talked about just amongst people. Um, so, I mean, I, I just want to commend you guys, first of all, on doing Thanks. that. Um, as far as, you know, like the conspiracy theory stuff, well, initially, I wanted to say, sorry, a point. You know, it seems like in technology with all this stuff, social media, it connects us, but it doesn't really, you know, connect people to people. You know what I mean? It was like yeah. more interaction than Absolutely. ever before. Absolutely. I mean, I, but, I remember you know, I was, walking, I was uh, biking by a local uh, pub recently, and I saw a couple sitting outside, and when in any other circumstance you'd expect them to be talking to one another, it looked like it could have been a date. Uh, they were just sitting there on their phones, and it's not un- yeah. it's not that uncommon. That day was going badly. <laughs> it, well, uh, it's it's not uncommon for that to to happen, though. Even you know whether it was a date or not, or just two friends sitting at a table together, um, you see that a lot. And I'll I'll you know when I see my friends doing it, I'll say something like "phone party" just to kind of bring attention to it to to the fact that people we are call doing that it. cupcaking. Cupcaking. Yeah. So right. so Amanda Billy Rock is that a millennial term? Yeah. Or well, something? yeah. I mean, Amanda Billy Rock told us about it. So her little sister said it to her and uh, she's downstairs one time and we're all just hanging out at the quill and she goes, she says, you know, because um, I think it was Riaz or something was uh, these are one of, activists yes, in the these New are Hampshire area. Friends no of ours. Knows. Yes. Go ahead. <laughs> but um, we're all hanging out at the quill, a bunch of activists. And one of our friends, Riaz, was on his phone and she said, Riaz, stop cupca- cupcaking. And we're like, what's that? And she said, apparently cupcaking is when you um, text people. On your phone in a social situation. Uh huh. Whatever yes. I get this name. Uh, yeah, I don't know so, where they got that name either. Now this is officially a thing oh, so. because I said it on the radio. Chris, uh, what else did you want to share tonight? Yeah, uh, along along with the conspiracy theory stuff, you know, it, it generally comes under you know having a bad rap or being crazy, and you know, it, it it's kind of difficult to get away from that. You know, just even the word conspiracy theory has a sort of you know stigma to it. But, yeah, you you're know, a nut. Uh, that's when immediately Carl, that's what exactly. the suggestion yeah, is. You know, yeah, a lot of them are nuts. <laughs> so it's it's understandable Carl, Carl why Sagan people think that. Yeah. Interesting. He, uh, Carl Sagan, he said, you know, scientists aren't necessarily inherently smart people. They just question things, and I think that's what it comes down to. They're just skeptics or flip siders. You know, they just kind of wonder what if things are not what they seem. And well, I think, a, there's you know, a difference between being that. someone who questions what they're presented with. And another who makes up a, a kind of a theory, right? Like, so that's the difference between questioning and theorizing and sort of filling in the gaps. It's one thing to say you don't know what happened or you don't know the truth about what happened. And it's another thing entirely to say that you believe this is what happened, whether or not there's any evidence or whether the evidence is credible that supports those claims. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, from my from my perspective, though, it's tough because you get both sides of the story. People are just so adamant about you know, this is true, why don't you believe it? And then there's other people that say, why would you question that? What Which is why I don't waste my time with it, generally. I mean, I totally agree yeah, with you, it, by it's the way. Tough, it's tough to ever say, yeah, I believe that or the other. You know, it's kind of, unless I see or I was there, it's really hard to ever, you know, make up your mind. Absolutely. But, uh, you know, I, listening to you guys' radio station is the first time I heard about the uh, conspiracy theory with this whole... Uh, ISIS uh, beheading video, and I haven't seen First time I'd heard of it, too. I, I, I hadn't yeah, watched the video they, until they tonight. Pop up, they pop up with every story, like you guys said a minute ago with the last caller. 
So, Thanks. yeah, I just wanted to say, you know, as far as what you guys are doing, keep it up. because do, we need a lot of it. Glad you're out there. Thanks people, for the so. call tonight, man. I appreciate hearing from you. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That must feel so good when people call in and they just they tell you how much they love your show. Oh, no, no, really, it no. makes us uncomfortable. I get tired of it. Um, I'd much really? rather talk about issues, honestly. Yeah, I, want to talk, I don't want to get praised up and down here. I, I, oh. I think there's way too much of that on the radio, talk yeah. show hosts. That, oh, uh, that's terrible. You know, like they, Thanks for your service, Sean. <laughs> or whatever it is they say. <laughs> Let Dose. freedom ring. See, I feel like that's somebody trying to tell you that you're really changing their life. Oh, that's, that's what not I to hear. Say, that's not to say I don't the ideas, appreciate it. I the ideas appreciate changed it. our lives, right? And so these are just ideas. Free, Ian and I aren't amazing people or anything like that. These are amazing ideas, the ideas of human freedom. Yeah. Really? Because I think you're amazing. Oh, thank you. Both of you. You know, it's not to say I don't appreciate it. I appreciate somebody who wants to say, thanks, Free Talk Live. I'm glad you're out there. And we made a promo out of a couple people saying that recently. Uh, there's one guy who was talking about how he joined the Free State Project because yep. he happened to find Free Talk Live on the radio in his area of Charleston, South Carolina at the time. And so, yeah, it's great to hear that from people. But if that's all that we did was just hear people talking about how how much they like the show, it'd be a really boring show. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Let's continue with your calls and thoughts. We've got Tyson in New York. You're on Free Talk Live. Tyson. Yeah, hello? Hey, you're on the air. What's on your mind tonight? I'd like to talk about conspiracy theories. Please. Uh, and, I, you know, I really want to talk about how I think, you know, th there's conspiracy theories and then there's, you know, factual information uh, on some of these things. Like, like um, you know, some things could be facts and some things, you know, are a little odd. You understand what I'm saying? Sure. Like, okay. um, yeah. In uh, 2036, there's supposed to be a meteorite that actually hits the Earth. Now, that's been confirmed. By the Russian government, they said that there's a meteorite approaching the Earth. You know what I mean? Like that, that's a fact. You no, know? that's not and, a fact. That's a, uh, that sounds like a theory to me. They, what makes you think that's a fact? Well, they, they, I suppose well, it could be a fact that they said it. Because <laughs> they they said that was a, was factual information. They've done calculations now saying that on the period of time, you know, maybe it will hit, you know, an asteroid belt and get knocked off, or something will happen. But they, you know, they or maybe they, their okay. calculations are wrong. Here from uh, January the 10th of last year, huge asteroid Apophis will not hit Earth in um, 2036, according to Space.com. So Doomsday, people. So how'd they screw it up? I mean, apparently, according to Tyson, the Russian government said it was going to happen. Well, they thought it was going to happen, and then they decided it wasn't. There you go. So, there. I mean, we just shot that one down already, Tyson. Go ahead. I'm saying that things could be real, but all things could also be wrong. Do you want to put up there? Tyson, hang on, man. We're losing you there and drowning you out in the music. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Yeah, I think you have to question everything. I mean, whether it's coming from the American government, the Russian government, the BBC, whatever your favorite news station is, you never really know what the truth is unless you've seen it yourself, as our earlier caller pointed out. Free Talk Live. This is Mark Edge of Free Talk Live, and I've got something awesome to share with you. I've recently joined Liberty.me. It's an online city devoted to people who love liberty. Break free of the flame wars and bridge-dwelling denizens of Facebook. You deserve better. You deserve a friendly, ad-free social network where you can chat 24 hours a day with like-minded souls around the world. Attend live interactive classes with experts on economics, finance, politics, and money. Access a vast library of books and discuss them with your reading group. Better your life with exclusive self-help guides on investing, self-defense, homeschooling, security, healthcare, saving money, and starting a business. Become a libertarian luminary yourself and get paid in the process by publishing your works on liberty.me. Get tipped via PayPal and Bitcoin. The first step towards freedom is to invest in yourself. Start your free 30-day trial now at liberty.me. I love being a member of liberty.me and I think you will too. The first month is free. Sign up and say hello. Summertime is save big time at Herbal Healer Academy. Long-term customers know summer is the time to stock up at HerbalHealer.com. And for new customers, welcome to the web's best place to save on vitamins, minerals, and more. 
Log on for summer specials, including all sizes of colloidal silver, colloidal minerals, and intestinal freedom on sale. Choose from Herbal Healer's great variety of weight loss products like apple cider vinegar, hoodia, and metabolic complex and pro-metabolic all on sale now. Also, the anti-parasite intestinal freedom and wormwood plus complex plus stevia liquid sweetener and the super enzymes all on sale for summer at herbalhealer.com. As always, we offer certificate correspondence courses in natural medicine. Enjoy same-day shipping and free online newsletter. Log on now to HerbalHealer.com and look for summer specials to save big with our nation's leader in supplying quality natural medicine and education. Since 1988, Herbal Healer Academy. Negotiation isn't just something union leaders and sports agents do. Your entire day is a series of negotiations. If you have young children, you know that. In fact, your kids can teach you a lot about negotiating with grown-ups. According to the world's greatest negotiator, Herb Cohen, author of You Can Negotiate Anything. Herb says that kids understand the process of decision-making within an organization organization. When one parent says no, they'll ask the other. And Cohen says children persist and persevere. And like smart negotiators of all ages, kids know that no is an opening bargaining position. With money and attention so scarce now, effective communication skills have never been more important, especially if you're a job seeker. For more tips, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything you want. Just dial in toll-free here at 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online at freetalklive.com. Tyson dropped off the line there uh, during the break. Plenty of time for your calls and thoughts. You just dial on in toll-free, or you can call us via Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. You do need to send a contact request first. It'll be approved within eh, usually about a segment or so, and it'll be easy for you to call us on Skype, and you'll sound better than the average caller. So do that, and don't forget to join us over at freetalklive.com. We go right back into your calls and thoughts Lucas is with us listening to Talk Radio 850 in Raleigh. Hey, Lucas. Hey, uh, hey. Uh, I wanted to just say Tyson, I think, was talking about the uh, asteroid that is supposed to come near Earth in 2880. That's a newer news story than the, 28, the one you were... 80, uh, 28? 2880, that's right. I think we should that's be right. fine. That's a long time down the road. Yeah, I'm not too worried that's about that That's past Star Trek. Not, yeah, I'm, I'm not and Buck Rogers. That. <laughs> but look, here, here's the problem. In science, a theory is something that's heavily supported by evidence, right. logic, and it's peer reviewed. Mm. Gravity. In conspiracy theory, it's like you said, it's all about exactly like gravity. In, cons in conspiracy theories, it's all about what we don't know, but what could be true. And you'll generally find in the field of conspiracy theories or, or any kinds of theories about what politicians are doing, those aren't real theories in the first place, uh, is just a lot of speculation from amateurs who don't have any scientific uh, evaluation of any actual data. They're just hypothesizing about 
what could have happened? I would prefer to think of it as conspiracy hypotheses. And I think this is, as Tyson has pointed out, this has really undermined our ability as a society to actually communicate with each other because now we've got all these people on the radio foisting things that are speculation as fact, which confuses a large part of the population about what's a fact and what's not and how you tell what's a fact and what's not. Just because you read it on the Internet doesn't mean it's a fact. Well, now let's clear something up. Don't you up. think that the large regret. portion of the, the population was misinformed even before radio? Oh, I would agree they were. On the other hand, a large portion of the population wasn't informed by radio of things that absolutely are not true. And that's what's happening now is that we have people being told that things are facts in giant numbers. Millions and millions of people tune into this stuff every day. Uh, and are told that these things are facts. And then maybe a year later, uh, it comes out that, in fact, we know what the facts are, and that conspiracy theory goes away. But the host never comes out and says, well, and I was wrong about that. Sure. And so all these Just like psychics who, who uh, you know, honest, have no credibility to tell us what's true and what's not. And so I think people like Alex Jones, who support this uh, cottage industry of amateur, uh, amateur speculation as fact, those people, we ought to pull their radio licenses. Well, no license. hold on. Hold, 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 hold on. That's as far as I'm going to go with you. Yeah. Uh, first well, of there all, is no license. Right. Gotcha. First of all, there is no such thing as a radio license anymore. Uh, but what you could do is you really? could encourage. Correct. Really? Really? There hasn't been There's for. There's no FCC license anymore? Yeah, There's an has... FCC license for radio stations. Right. Not for hosts. Not for individual That's what I mean. hosts. That's okay. what I mean. Well, no, no there no, used to actually be a license for hosts. Right. Well, it used to be that uh, actual individuals who to be on the air had to be licensed. So that's where the confusion yeah, comes it's in. It's probably been about 20 years since. Oh, well, I, I think I, we could pull I, the, I, the license from the whole station if they want to sell facts as uh, fiction as facts. I, I, I don't believe well, no. what about in the Christian censorship. Channel? I don't think that we should throw people off the air because they disagree right. with Why us. Don't or just, even if they're uh, just what about completely because they lie? Wrong. What if they lie? Well, the way okay, to handle that. Wait a second. Okay, you're talking about every religious program in the nation not being allowed on the radio. <laughs> I was going <laughs> to say that. That's really funny. But the the, the other thing is is that even if they lie, the look for the falsity of, look, of religion or God. I agree with you. Religion talk- is the issue. The issue is that the facts that we have to deal with that we're being told that in fact are not facts. We're being told that something else is in fact true, okay. like Barack Obama is an alien. We're not talking the, about religion. We're talking about stuff which is right. okay. the public's ability few, to understand anything. Here's a few things that I want to say. First yeah. of all, if we did that, we would have to ban education. Because as I mentioned no, in my you latest article, exactly hold that. on, let me finish. The latest article that I wrote was about the fact that public education is child abuse because they teach children as fact that the government is the best thing for them. Second of all, second they point. Don't teach that anywhere. They don't teach that anywhere in school that government that government is the best. The government is the best thing for people. Yes, they do. Had. I'm, I never had that in any textbook I ever well, read. Maybe they've changed since. Uh, maybe they've changed since you were in school, but we've definitely seen some disturbing yeah, maybe. school uh, curriculum that certainly. Yeah, we've, Sec- we've second seen. So hold on, we've seen some Where disturbing school that curriculum that. I'm sorry. Let's talk about that curriculum then, and correct that curriculum. I don't know. Yeah, you're not going to be able to do that. I don't know if you ever tried to change the system, but it's almost a total waste. I want to see how you're going to prove Barack Obama's not an alien. You haven't proved it yet. Now hold on a second. I don't don't have to prove he's not an alien. Of course he doesn't have to prove that, Mark. Okay, so wild speculation. (laughs) No, it's not. Yes, it is, Mark. He's absolutely right about that. No, he's not. We're talking about taking people's licenses here for a second. No, if you take somebody's license, you have to prove what they've said is incorrect. You have to prove it as a no. falsehood before you take their license. Uh, I understand about? how rhetoric works, no, and I understand that a person makes a positive there statement. Is some factual basis for making the claim, and do they have any factual basis for making the claim that Barack Obama is an alien? Well, take a I... look. The news tends to fall down these rabbit holes on a regular basis. They'll quote some article that yeah, quoted some article that quoted some article that quoted some article. You're going to be ended end up exactly. if you go after every false statement that everybody made. You're going to shut down every news industry in the in the world it's protectionism is, is remind, the biggest problem it's here it's not protectionism we, no we need to stop protecting the american that's public from information and let them actually that's learn to think for themselves is, okay and that's a good idea but people don't learn to think for themselves if you teach them ways to think that have 
them thinking that things that are facts are uh, that are not facts are in fact facts and things that How are do facts you determine are what the fiction. facts are? This, this is, is the their responsibility. I, this well, is what we I, used to this is something we used to do as a society and this is what I'm trying to get across to you. We used to have for example in radio and television we had something called the Fairness Act which required a certain amount of airtime be given to each side of a position and what Wait ended up happening Wait a minute. That has result, to do with politics. That doesn't have to do with determining it facts. Did have to do, it, have it, you it had Atlas it shrugged? Did, it, had to, <laughs> it did have to do with determining facts in Pretty politics sad. because what happens otherwise is somebody gets on the air and talks for three hours straight simply saying the same thing over and over again, which is propaganda and not do so, they pay for this time? That's what happens on radio all well, day now. Wait, 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 wait hold I on. To these programs all the time. I'm not talking about you guys, but there are other radio programs. Oh, yeah, we do that it. They're just propaganda and not news. We take a single position. We take a position that is that human freedom is the uh, the best choice in dealing in for people to deal with each other, and we pound that point home this three hours a, a day. I'm sorry. Are you, but we pound the point okay. home. Are you against okay. freedom of speech? That's, because well, it certainly that's sounds that's like you don't. You don't appreciate okay, free you can speech. Argue that I don't appreciate freedom of speech, but then you're saying we didn't have free speech until 1986. We don't have free because speech that's now. The Fairness Act was in place until. Oh, I would agree that we did not have freedom of speech when you had essentially. What are we arguing about? Look, until the internet, I don't think we had anything. Free speech now. I don't think we had anything like free speech until the internet showed up. Because you want to censor people. Just so that we can make sure we can make sure that everybody's called properly. You are allowed to say whatever you want in the public sphere, but you are not on uh, if, if it's, for example, radio airwaves that are owned by the public. Oh, how did the, how did the public get these radio, the radio airwaves? We own that. How did the, the public get what? them? How did the public get the radio waves? Did because you? The, the stuff that's right over my property belongs to me. So if the radio airwaves come into my home... You you projected that radio. That's what the that's what the law said when they wrote it, and that's well, why they put it that, that way. But you know the law the was written by thieves that. and liars and criminals, right? No, well, no, I want you to keep in mind: are there are there an infinite number of is there an infinite number of space on the radio spectrum? No, but you didn't own, homestead build, any of it so that was over I your build, house. So if I build my if I build my own radio station and that interferes with a government licensed radio station, who loses in court? I would say that the person with the license, but that's because they'd homesteaded the that space. The person with the space. license will beat me and will win in court, and that means I have been silenced. So have I lost my right to free speech because I'm not allowed to start no, my own No, because you stole someone else's thing that wait, they have wait, who's, already who's homesteaded. Airwaves, who's, so you're saying the radio station owns those airwaves. I would What's say they homesteaded them. I'd yes, say they, they homesteaded them, them or bought them from somebody else that they homesteaded license, them. License them from the government. <laughs> and if you go read about how the law actually applies to your I radio don't care station, about the law. License. I'm talking to you about morality. The law is written by criminals. You don't own the but you don't own Sucks. the airwaves. I, uh, I don't. don't I'm not claiming to own That's the airwaves, sir. You're claiming to own the would, airwaves. <laughs> I'm saying the public owns the airwaves. No, and that's the true. public you doesn't send own them. Through my body. Show me oh, the public. To send it. So your body. If you can <laughs> own it, then you should be able to sell it, right? What like are you if, talking about? If, I'll make sure I don't do, breathe any of your air. The government licenses it, but they do not sell it. The they government is a bunch of liars and thieves that have at their behest a bunch of armed people that will do what does, they say. Does the government own it, then? Is that what he's suggesting? If the government can they license must. it, then they it's, must it's own it. It's public. Right? The government owns does it. Does that mean you own it? If the government owns it, do you own it? And if you own it, how do you get a piece of it? It's Free Talk Live. Americans are reeling from Obamacare, oh higher prices, and an epidemic of policy lapses. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com has you covered. World-class medical and surgery at one of Asia's most modern hospitals. 300 doctors, surgeons, and dentists serving 300,000 patients a year. Fractions of U.S. prices. Friends or family forced to go out of pocket? Avoid bankruptcy. Tell them to run. Run like hell. Hit us up now. We'll show you how. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. 
When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Thursday, August 21st, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.40 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,280 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $523. Antiwar.com reports, the latest report from the International Atomic Energy Agency has once again shown that Iran continues to comply with the terms of a nuclear deal negotiated with the P5 plus one and took steps to comply with the extended pact reached last month. Despite U.S. grousing about the pact, Iran has exceeded all expectations for how quickly they could meet some of the major provisions, and the IAEA has praised their cooperation repeatedly. The original P5 plus 1 nuclear deal with Iran expired on July 20th, and an extension through November was announced to allow talks on a permanent settlement to continue. The complexity of such a deal, along with congressional hostility towards any deal at all, mean such a pact is likely to take years to sort out. The terms of the interim deal have the IAEA doing daily inspections of Iran's civilian nuclear sites, and they have continued to confirm the non-diversion of nuclear material to any non-civilian or undeclared purposes. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Coinbase. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. I trust Coinbase. You should too. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. That's coinbase.fppradio.com. Reuters reports. The U.S. Supreme Court stopped same-sex marriage in Virginia from going ahead on Wednesday, staying an appeals court ruling that had struck down a state ban. The court granted a stay application filed by opponents of same-sex marriage. The action was not a ruling on the merits of same-sex marriage, but means that a July 28th pro-same-sex marriage ruling by the Richmond-based 4th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals will not be implemented while litigation continues. The U.S. Supreme Court issued its brief order less than 24 hours before gay and lesbian couples in Virginia could have begun applying for marriage licenses. The Supreme Court issued a similar order in January blocking same-sex marriage from going ahead in Utah, so the court's order on the Virginia law was not wholly unexpected. In light of a string of recent lower court rulings that have struck down state bans on same-sex marriage, the Supreme Court is expected to take up at least one of the cases on the issue in its coming term, which starts in October and ends in June. Three cases already are pending at the court that the justices can choose from, and whichever one they choose will likely be the most momentous civil rights case in years. The three cases involve fights over bans in Virginia, Utah, and Oklahoma. Virginia Attorney General Mark Herring told reporters he recognized that gay and lesbian couples wanting to get married in the state would be disappointed with the delay caused by the stay, but he said the Supreme Court should definitely answer the constitutional question about marriage equality. 
FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800 874 9760. CBS reports a reporter captured video Tuesday night of a police officer in Ferguson, Missouri, cursing and threatening to kill members of the media. The video shows that as the officer approached, a man is heard saying, oh my God, gun raised. The man said, hands are up, bro. My hands are up. The officer walks near the man with his gun pointed and says, I will effing kill you. Someone asked, you're going to kill him. What's your name, sir? The officer replied, go F yourself. After some taunting, a second police officer then approaches the unnamed police officer with the new unfortunate nickname and pushes his gun away from the crowd while escorting him away. St. Louis County Police Spokesman Brian Shellman said the officer is with the police department of St. Anne, another town near Ferguson. Officer go F yourself has not yet been identified, though Shellman did say that officer go F yourself has been relieved of duty and suspended indefinitely. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. We've got Today Now's medical expert, Dr. Kareem Mazari, here to give us some tips on how to convince a stubborn little guy to take off his Spider-Man costume and start wearing normal clothes so people don't think he's a weirdo. And also joining us is my son, Spencer, still dressed as Spider-Man. Spencer? Hi, Mom. I find the best thing to do is to try and have a dialogue with your child. Now, Spencer, why won't you take your costume off? Because then people will know my true identity. You're not even wearing the mask! People already know who you are! Well, bargaining can work. Explain to your child... Bargaining? Is it not enough that I say take off the Spider-Man costume? Now I've got to bargain with my own child? Jesus Christ! You know... Spencer! Sit down. Ooh, sit ah, down. Ah, do you want to be put in the silence trunk again? You don't like the silence trunk, do you? Um, okay. I'm Spider-Man! I'm Spider-Man! Spencer! Spencer, sit down right now! Sit down, you little <laughs> face, or I will break the rest of your toys on purpose! Do you understand me? This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up whatever you'd like. Just dial in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Join us online. Go to freetalklive.com. Enjoy the features there. You get to create the content right there on the front page of the website. All that stuff as you scroll down that was put there was put there by listeners just like you. So when you find something online that you want to share with us and share with the rest of the listeners of Free Talk Live, just submit it as show prep at freetalklive.com. It can then be voted upon. Uh, whether you like or dislike something, you can register your opinion over at freetalklive.com, and it's totally free. With you in our studio tonight, you've got Ian here with you. Lauren, a.k.a. Objectivist Girl. And Mark. And we're going to jump right back into your calls. No, actually, we have Lucas still with us in Raleigh, North Carolina, listening to Talk Radio 850. And actually, uh, unfortunately, Lucas, uh, Talk Radio 850 stops carrying the show at 9 o'clock. So uh, your friends or family or whoever might be listening there in Raleigh won't be able to hear yeah. this hour unless they listen online at freetalklive.com. But, but I they wanted can get to get the, the archive and you can play yeah. it for them if you'd like. I wanted to bring you back on here. There was a lot of uh, kind of scatter in the last segment with you and and i think what was causing that is there are three people in the studio here and you were saying some pretty out you were saying some pretty outrageous stuff and i think people were were a little caught up in that so i'd just like to talk to you for just a moment here about one question i had that i didn't really get to speak on and i don't think you had a chance to answer uh if i did barely get to say something about it in the last segment you had called in just a recap for our listeners who are, are are just tuning in right now uh, you had called in to talk about truth and in uh, in the media and what's being put out the there. The lack in a of lot it, of, yeah, <laughs> and what's being put out there in a lot of cases is not very truthful. Uh, it may even be full of holes. It may be conspiracy theory. It may just be you know out and out falsehoods. Whatever you had suggested that if people were doing that on the radio, that the radio stations who were complicit in that should have their licenses pulled. And presumably, you would say the same thing about television stations uh, as well. 
So it led me to wonder, you know, what is it that, how do you determine what the truth is? Is it whatever the government story is? Because I'm with you in being skeptical about conspiracy theory, and I think you made some good points about that at the very beginning of your call, and then things kind of went off the rails from there. So what is the truth, and how do you determine that? Well, that's a good question. I'm really glad you asked how we determine the truth, because, you know, this is what radio talk show hosts who want to present conspiracy theories ought to begin with is how do we know what's true and what's not, and fully address that before they move into wild speculation. The way we used to do it as a country was twofold. Uh, one is, when people presented ideas, they would get a full airing and a review by their peers. So we didn't have just amateurs running around saying whatever they want and claiming that it had the same value as a scientist or a doctor. and the public believes them. Can and you tell me got this other world? Can you tell me the when this happened? Because I don't think that this really happened. I think that this is a idealized idea that you have about radio. Radio's been full of crap for a long time, and War of the Worlds for how long? is, sir. For how long? How long do you think it's been full of crap? When it when it hasn't been playing music, and I would also say. Um, okay. I would also say that uh, if you're going to hold radio to this level and TV to this level, and I and assume newspaper, but newspapers don't have licenses, so maybe you can't hold them to this level. But what about the Internet? I mean, the Internet is full of yep. wild, crazy crap that makes radio right. look tame by the uh, – are you going to are you gonna get the, send the uh, DHS out to pull everybody's uh, website license? you want to censor the Internet, too? Can I answer the question well, before I have that's several the question. other people jump in? Okay. So here's what I think. Uh, radio, because it's over our airwaves, uh, this is the way we've treated it in the past, and it's, it remains true that technically those are the public airwaves because they fly everywhere indiscriminately. We used to treat it this way. Uh, we used to also treat facts on television this way before it became cable. And once it became cable, the public no longer had the ability to say, well, you owe us something for using our airwaves. It became privatized. And it became possible for people to just present whatever they want and pay for it all day. What we used to do as a society is criticize those people and run them out of town on a rail. And now what we do is reward them and pay them hundreds of millions of dollars. Well, I guess you're going to have to prove this to me. tens of thousands. I, you're going to have to present the proof that uh, that this occurred, that society ran people out on rails um, when they presented things that were not pr true. Okay, well, let's wind the clock back to the 1960s when there were only four television stations, for example, and there were only, uh, therefore, four uh, groups really doing television news. News was much more tightly regulated in that era, era, not only by the federal government, but by the news corporations themselves who viewed the first and most important thing they did as presenting news. And the reason that they thought it was so important to present news is when t television stations were first licensed by the federal government, part of their license included an ob a legal obligation to present a certain amount of educational programming every day and to present a, an, a fair and balanced, which admittedly we can ask the question about how do you do that. It's difficult to do, so I don't want to get into something deep about the idea that I think I mean, it's not like I think there's some really clear way to solve the problem of people presenting fiction as fact. Lucas, you but seem to be hearkening to back to society. the 60s right, or whatever right. as though this was this grand time for news coverage. Are you I'm really suggesting a... that there were uh, that we were better off when there were four choices rather than 40? What I'm saying is that because we have 40 choices, we are not necessarily better off. And as soon as people begin to consider the possibility that 40 – because with 40 choices, there's very little oversight from the general public about any of those. So, for example, with MSNBC, it's, I don't know, 97 percent watched by liberals. And with Fox, it's, I don't know, 97 percent watched by conservatives. And those groups don't have an interest in policing MSNBC and Fox. I don't do know. You, the other guy. Do you They're think, to think to that it's the, the other guy? Do you think that it's the general public that needs to be watching them or the government? It is the general public. The and how, is how do you... When, when, can <clears throat> I finish the answer to the question, please? Well, the it was a pretty simple question. Doing 
I know, so I want to answer it. If the general public is doing I didn't ask job, for an explanation. I just I wanted was, to know. No, no, I'm trying to finish my statement, and you can interrupt me and ask a different question if you want, but I want to answer the one you asked. You are very is, rude. Is the general public or the public? I'm saying it's the general public. It's the general public's job to elect good people to run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lucas, I'm, thank I'm you. I'm sorry, Lucas. No. no. It's not. Why it's, do you think we got George Washington or Thomas Jefferson? We elected them. I George elect Washington them. killed a bunch of people. What are you talking about? <laughs> Thanks for the call, Lucas. I did not elect those people. I would, just I like to would say. never have elected those people. And well, I, I don't know like, whether I would have elected them elect or not. I don't want to elect anyone. <laughs> You know, maybe they were maybe they were better people. I have no clue, but I suspect that George you know, Washington got elected because he was a very successful general. You know who I want to elect? Myself over my own life. That's what I want. I want you to be president dreamer. of my own life. You are such I know a I'm a crazy person for wanting to run my own life. That's insane. Let's go to Terry. He's in Grand Stop Forks. Stop breathing my public air, <laughs> Terry. You're on Free Talk Live. I want to make a couple of points about your last caller. Sure. Uh, uh-huh. Number one, he sounds to me like you're just typical liberal who's mad because talk radio leans to the right, and he doesn't. He, they no longer have control over it. I want to prove it in a couple of points. Number one, the fairness doctrine. The fairness doctrine was just a way to stop people who disagree with the mainstream from getting on the radio, because if you had to match it up, they, they kept them off the air. Once the fairness doctrine was taken away, you saw what happened to talk radio. Now, whether you agree with the host and what they say is irrelevant, number one, because it's America. We have a right to freedom of speech. If people get caught up in some of these conspiracy theories and they're wrong, that's their problem for not doing the homework. I, I don't want the government going back to control into who I can listen to on radio. Absolutely. Two, it's just going to kill radio, and it's going to kill TV. Yeah, exactly. where, he just wants to drive everybody to the Internet where they're going to have the choices. <laughs> where was AM radio, and whether you agree with them or not, what was AM radio doing, and what happened after Rush Limbaugh went on the air? Once again, whether you agree with them or not, when he went on the air and opened it up for everybody and the doctor went away, look at AM radio now. It totally revived a dead market. It did. You're right thank about you that, for, Thank good, you for calling. Good we thoughts. really appreciate that. Yeah, I do appreciate hearing from you tonight. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. You can bring up anything that you want. You know... I, I didn't want to keep the uh, the other guy on for much longer, but I still want to know how you determine what the facts are. Is it only when an expert says something? How do you know that's true? Americans are reeling from Obamacare. Higher prices and an epidemic of policy lapses. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com has you covered. World-class medical and surgery at one of Asia's most modern hospitals. 300 doctors, surgeons, and dentists serving 300,000 patients a year. Fractions of U.S. prices. Friends or family forced to go out of pocket? Avoid bankruptcy. Tell them to run. Run like hell. Hit us up now. We'll show you how. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com Wake up and smell the freedom. One of the easiest things you can do to help Liberty is to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to help keep them drone-proof. You can set up your home computer to download and share Freedom Fiends archives over BitTorrent. You can even set up scheduling so it only shares while you're asleep or at work. Put your unused computing power to work and help keep the Freedom Fiends around well into the future. Simply go to freedomfiends.com and click on the Torrent Club link and learn how to torrent and share Freedom Fiends archives. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should, too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. 
Free Talk Live. How dare you and who do you think you are? I mean, it's my life. It's my business. I should be able to run it how I want to and my customers should be able to make the choice for themselves as to whether or not they want to do business with me. And they should be able to make that choice yeah. based on uh, the quality of my product or my reputation or the fact that I've got third-party certification or whatever factors they deem important. If I'm doing business and you don't trust me or you think I'm shady, then you don't have to do business with me. In fact, you can tell other people what you think about my business and my practices, and maybe they also will join you in not doing business with me. There's no need for government regulations out there. The marketplace can handle third-party certification of various different products and services to where people who are concerned about whether or not the business they're dealing with is trustworthy can check with a verifiable resource that, indeed, this is a trustworthy individual or a trustworthy company that you're doing business with. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Nestle Toll House Refrigerated Cookie Dough. Who would you bake some love for? Find fun and easy baking ideas at tollhouse.com. Kids love doing arts and crafts projects, especially when you join in. Try channeling all that artistic energy into the kitchen and bake up some creative treats together. Think of your art supplies as the frosting, sprinkles, and decorating gels, and use cookies or cupcakes as your canvas. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything you want. Just dial in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Thank goodness. We are, over time, getting away from the idea of licensing. As uh, you were pointing out earlier, Mark, Ugh, the, uh, right? the internet, unlicensed. We had the, this guy calling earlier saying he thinks that radio stations and television stations should have their licenses pulled if any false information goes out over the airwaves, which, of course, Specifically is- conspiratorial, but it you know, went to sort of false after yeah. that. In other words, we need to summon gods because, uh, you know, human beings can't possibly- be right who would determine 24 <laughs> 7 right and, and who would determine what is and what is not false and who would determine just who a god is <laughs> brings us to all kinds of you know very I difficult know. questions to answer but thank goodness <laughs> we're moving away from licensing uh we're seeing more freedom because of the internet that uh, anybody who wants to can start up themselves a website and just because you can start a website doesn't mean you're going to have credibility right out Lots the Lots of blogs that nobody reads. Yeah, exactly. But there's a pretty good site out there that actually cobbles together a lot of the great content out there on around the Internet. It's freedomsphoenix.com. They're uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies at freedomsphoenix.com every day. It's the detailed real news that lies between the lines of propaganda and the relationship we have with coercive governments. They have up-to-the-minute updates on the economy, technology, communications, and the rise of the police state. Freedoms Phoenix. Dot com as we continue. And how with, great they are. They are wonderful people. Indeed. With your calls and thoughts here, let's jump into the phones and we'll talk to Matt in Charleston, West Virginia. You're on Free Talk Live, Matt. Hey, guys. How are you? Welcome, sir. You're on the air. Good. Hey, uh, I was just calling uh, about two points. I didn't hear the entire uh, conversation about the gentleman that just went off the air about the... Uh, Radio stations being full of up a crap and uh, the news media being all full of conspiracy theorists. But I think that uh, I think that you guys, along with a lot of uh, uh, radio talk shows, these days, do a very good job at looking at more than one view of a problem or a situation or what's going on in, in, in politics or in the world. Well, thanks for that. 
I mean, you? and if, and if there, I don't, I don't claim to have a uh, you know a totally fair perspective or anything, and nor have I ever claimed for this to be a news show. But when we do talk about things on Free Talk Live, we do try our best to you know to understand what's going on. And of course, we always have open phones. So if you're listening out there and you're seething because we're totally getting something wrong, <laughs> you can always pick up the phone and call in and uh, and join us on the air. So Matt, anything As else? As you witnessed. <laughs> anything else you want to share? Yeah, I don't agree with everything you say, but I think you do a good job at that, uh, looking at all aspects. The other thing, I tried to call in uh, a few nights ago when, when the hot topic was Ferguson issue, and it seemed to keep coming up uh, in the media and on the radio. That's a big deal. The, the, it, it is, I agree. The, the, the thing that kind of triggered my, my irritation, I should say, is a, a couple things that I, I heard on Fox News that there was a, a couple of... Uh, uh, protesters going to support the officer and that they were taken away in cars. What gives the people in Ferguson that are irate over the, the incident a, a, more of a right to protest than the people to support the police? Who was taking away the people I in haven't cars? seen the news story that you're talking about. Just to clarify. I think, I think the, way, the way that it sounded to me was that the police department put the, these people in cars and escorted them away from... Um, away from Florescent Street, or I believe that's the name of the street where the protests are taking place. And I, I just, I think this has happened on two different occasions. So just to clarify what, it. I want to make sure I understand what you're saying. You're saying in Ferguson, Missouri, site of many protests right now, you're saying some people wanted to protest in favor of the Counter police officer. Counter protesters, essentially. Correct. And they were taken away from a protest scene by the police and put, deposited Correct. somewhere else? Correct. Were they charged Why? with anything, or did the cops Not just come? I, know of. I think I think that they did it for their, for, and, and this is a broad spectrum, but I think that they did it for their safety. Okay, I, I would say that, that their safety believable. was uh, their safety was likely in danger. I just don't believe that you have an have a you know an excuse to to take people someplace against their will for their safety. Well, it sounds to me like they got That's in. My uh, thing, yeah, it sounds to protect the people that are in your favor. Well, hold on. It sounds yeah. to me like the people weren't taken against their will. It sounds like they got in willingly. And that may be true. I just don't understand how. Why would we not have the the uh, position to to uphold their right to protest as well as the? the oh, I agree with you. Right? No, I absolutely agree. Yeah, I think they that- should have just as much right. Yeah, absolutely. I think if they want to go out there and wave signs in favor of the police, they should absolutely be free to do that. And then, of course, there will be likely conversations that will be had, videos will be recorded. And I imagine, that, you know, they probably weren't in as much danger as the police thought they might be. But either way, so either. if they really wanted to stay there, they could have made a stand and said, no, officer, thanks for thanks for offering us the ride out. But we really want to stand by this officer. So we're going to keep standing here no matter what happens. And if they, you know, All if right. the officer continued to push the issue they could pull out the video camera and record the officer that they uh, support so much oppressing their rights to support the officer that they support if that makes any sense right. whatsoever thanks for the I, call yeah, man. I, I appreciate hearing from you tonight man thanks for calling in toll free numbers 855 450 free because when you do what the police want you to do then you don't usually get into any real issue I mean, unless they want to arrest you is the first thing they want. But if they if they want you to leave an area and you leave when they first ask you to leave, you're probably going to be all right. They're probably not going to put you in handcuffs in that incident. Likely. Um, so the people who are out there protesting for the police are, of course, likely to do anything they're told by the police. So they'll not come across a cop who is going to manhandle them or treat them poorly because they're going to be doing what they were told. But that doesn't mean that it's voluntary. Now, here's the thing, is that those protesters, when people do what the cops tell them to do, that doesn't mean that they're acting voluntarily. They, Many of those people do it because they are actually under duress, and they know that if they don't do what the cop says, then there will be consequences. But does it feel and like duress? Still not, that's not voluntary. Wait a minute, but does it feel like duress... It may be duress, but does it feel like duress if you're a cop supporter and the cops come around and tell you what I to do? I find that very odd. I this is a, I'd like to know more about this situation because um, if they're well, how would it feel? Think about it for a moment. I mean, if you you I you're may not change my side. Okay, but right now I you're hope not. It has a backside. You're you're not Lauren anymore. You are somebody who totally worships the police state. You are a warmonger. Ugh. You love the military. That's going to be really hard to imagine. 
when you see the police, maybe you're one of those girls who like really gets turned on by a uniform. One of those girls. Oh la la. Yeah, the, the, you know they're out there, right? Like they, I, mm. they're basically cop groupies. Oh my my. So my. here you are. You've got your pro cop sign, and so I've heard they exist. And one of your heroes pulls up and says, "Oh my god, ma'am, I'm gonna have to ask you to get in my car so I can take you over to safety. This is a very dangerous place, ma'am. Now of come on, of course, come I'll on go in. anywhere you ask. There you go. That's not you're not Just under duress, are you? Me. You've been completely, <laughs> bu- you've completely bought into their system. System and you believe this is a hero who's come to your rescue. You wouldn't you wouldn't feel under duress in any way, shape, like or form. Like Hercules. <laughs> Would you? Would you yeah. feel duress? Yeah. No, no, you wouldn't. I, I mean, no, I wouldn't. I, you would as, yeah, as you. Yeah, I agree with you. No, right. I wouldn't. You would um, as Lauren, the objectivist I would as girl, Lauren. because you would want to stay right where you are, likely, and you know, your own individual yeah. volition is important can, to you. Can I be anti-cop again now, Yes, Ian, absolutely. We'll come back to more <laughs> here in moments. No more filleting the police. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. This is Free Talk Live. Plenty of time for your calls and thoughts coming up. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement and I'm telling you, There's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to MyMagicMud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin. MyMagicMud.com. The warning signs. At first, he made me feel special. He promised he'd look after me, provide for my future. He broke every promise he made. Millions of Americans afflicted. I was ready to leave, but he told me he'd change. So I gave him another chance. I was such a fool. The consequences. Things only got worse. He started making my decisions for me, about my job, my kid's education, my money my safety, my future. He took away my choices, but I kept going back to the same politicians. The diagnosis, battered voter syndrome. I fell for the same old lies. They were just playing with my emotions, telling me what I wanted to hear. That's not right. Stop the insanity of voting for the same old abusers. Declare your independence from the two-party system and join the New Hampshire Liberty Party today at nhliberty.info. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. If you are struggling to pay or haven't been making your student loan payments, listen carefully to this urgent alert. Have you been out of school for 10 or more years and you're still making your student loan payments? Are your student loans past due or even in default? Can't go back to school because of an old student loan problem? Fast Track Student Loans can get your student loans out of default, stop any wage garnishments, stop collection calls, and stop seizure of your tax refund. 
Give yourself a break. Stop the stress and get your student loan payments down to as little as $25 a month based on what you can afford to pay. One quick 10-minute call could help you solve your student loan problems. So call right now. Not available in all states. Payments may vary based on income. 800-215-6813. 800-215-6813. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything you want. All you have to do is dial us up toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Plus, Lauren is here with us from ObjectivistGirl.com. She's got a new... She's got a new article uh, tonight she brought in to talk about, but you know we're just loaded up with calls, so whether we'll get to any of it is another question. Just we- drop it on uh, the Facebook page. That'll yeah, work. that's what I'm going to do here in a little bit. Uh, objectivistgirl.com is where you can check it out. It's called Public Education is Child Abuse. And there's going to be a Bitcoin party at Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida. Free Talk Live is going to be there, and you are invited. Oh, my There's going gosh. There's going to be lots of speakers. It's going to oh be gosh. folks from the MIT Bitcoin Project, uh, Sean's Outpost, Bitcoin Not Bombs, the digital chamber, excuse me, the Chamber of Digital Commerce, uh, Mycelium, uh, you know, lots of different folks. Bitcoin Pioneer, uh, Charlie Shrim is going to be there. I, th- I think it's going to be his little robot guy because I think he's on house arrest or something right now. Should be interesting. It's the Wyndham Lake Buena Vista in downtown Disney, Saturday, October the 4th to Monday, October the 6th. Tickets are just $60. What? Wait, hold on. So I get to go to Disney and there will be MIT guys there. And oh, Jeff- Jeffrey Tucker. Di- oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I Wait, knew you, I, hold I, on. I knew you were a fan. For Wait 60 a minute. bucks. Well, Jeffrey I mean, and I are like bros. <laughs> but um, the thing is, is that um, I don't think you know this, but I love nerds. <laughs> so this Disney, will be the place for you. Disney, Disney and nerds, I'm in. Yeah. Let's go. It's, Lauren will be there now. Objectivist girl will be there now. <laughs> Don't tease unless you're actually gonna go. Hotel room. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go. Huh? Hotel rooms are 100 bucks. You Kids. can't beat the price. I mean, yep. sixty dollars for for a convention. Indeed. We 100 bucks a night. Hundred bucks a night for hotels. Kids under twelve are free. How many um, nights? Uh, it's gonna be three nights. Three nights. Funds mandatory. Come celebrate magic I internet money that. at the Magic Kingdom. So cool. What's the website? Coinsinthekingdom.com. Coinsinthekingdom.com. Coins 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 Presumably they'll take Bitcoin uh, for the tickets. I imagine. Oh yes. Coinsinthekingdom.com. Coins coins Com. MK and it's, is going. Mm, I'm oh, so excited. My it's girl a, MK Lords is going. She's cool. So awesome. She's very cool. And so yeah, check that out. Coinsinthekingdom.com. Yes. All right. Toll free number tonight. 855 450 free. Let's continue with your calls and thoughts. We've got Michael. We can hear you whispering. We've got Michael in Savannah. <laughs> you're on Free Talk Live. Yeah, hello. Hey, Michael, you're on the air. How are you, you doing? I just want to say I love you guys' show. Thank you very much for what you guys are doing. You're welcome. Go ahead, Michael, with your mm-hmm. thoughts. I want to talk about a big issue right now. I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure really you guys all know about the Ferguson incident. Um, you know, that's happening right now. Mm-hmm. Um, and I want to say that I cannot believe, um, I want to talk about how the aliens killed Michael Brown. Oh, uh, yeah, I want to hear this one. Go for it. All right. Well, basically, you know, Michael Brown was formerly abducted by aliens. Uh-huh. And you know this how? I saw it. All right. <laughs> Okay, tell me more. <laughs> All right, I saw it. You understand? Yes. And what basically happened. You got to well, script it out a little bit better than this. I mean, if you're going to call in with outlandish claims, uh, ridiculous now, character. Wait. It's good. Not, listen, listen. Yes. I saw it. They beamed him up. They probed him. Probed him. <laughs> did they say Scotty when they Hold did it? Hold on. Wait a minute. How did they? Okay. So how did they? How do you know they probed him? Did you witness that as well? Because they must have been you up. They need the reports. You don't understand about the reports. Did they take okay? you with them? He wasn't. 
He wasn't bleeding out of anywhere except for his ass. All right. Thanks for the time. call, Michael. I appreciate Wait, hearing from you He was bleeding tonight. out of his what? He was probed. <laughs> Something you're not supposed to really say <laughs> on the radio, but you can kind of get away with it. Toll-free number is... He's yin-yang. I don't think anybody <laughs> takes it seriously. I can yeah, tell you that. No. Look, I mean, it would have been a better crank call... Okay, so let me just reset here for just a moment. We've had some really great character callers over the years. That one wasn't so great. But there have been some where some you days can are ask than them questions, uh, and they will answer the questions, even though presumably they may not have been able to predict those questions in advance. But if your idea is to call the show with a certain pitch, with a certain uh, concept for the call, and the concept here was Michael Brown was abducted by aliens, and he saw it. Uh, at least that's what we got. We got from the call. It it follows that someone might ask you further questions about that. So you know, it, it almost didn't even sound like he had had that mapped out before the call because of the the long pause between you know when he actually said that he had seen it happen. That's how he knew that it had happened. And that was a great answer that you had seen it. Like there's Something. there's no doubt that was a good answer. It just took too long to get to it. It didn't sound plausible. I mean, it wouldn't have sounded plausible well, anyway. It's but, it is hair raising to call a radio program for the first time. And oh, you, I know that. You don't want to call prep. after you're good at it because they'll recognize your voice. So I've got to say, I think he, you know, it was it's a fine. good try. He didn't need to be on for too long. No, uh, that's fine. It you're was just, a good try, but it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't scripted well it's enough. Practice. I, don't I, think d- it was I do want to take all. a second to 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 state that that was making light of a very serious situation. I know well, There's that- nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, there's some people who say there's a there's a right time and a wrong time, but again, who determines what the the time frame is? Like, when is it inappropriate to make a Robin Williams death joke? I mean, I haven't heard them uh, yet, but they right, I know they're out there. Right I'm all now, choked up. Well, objective of scroll is on the air. Any time is an inappropriate time to make a Robin Williams. Was death that a joke, joke right there, Mark? I'm all choked up. Um, <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. Huge fan. Shaped he's my great. life. He's awesome. Um, I think he's the funniest man who ever lived. Yeah, he was. He was. That's that's the thing is that what I don't get. What would Robin get... Williams say though about you know when is it an appropriate time to Actually, start joking? Actually, he probably would have thought that was hilarious. Mm-hmm. Um, thinking about it now, but anyway, the the is thing is, it true is... that he had his uh, his member in his How hand? How do I know what's true or not i don't know either. okay that Just is a joke is it? from <laughs> world's greatest dad um that is a reference to his movie world's greatest dad where his <laughs> son uh died of erotic asphy- asphyxiation mm. and um he um he covered up for that gotcha. and uh so that is a reference to his movie. Yeah, gotcha. That's yeah. I follow you. Let's continue with your calls and thoughts. We've got Crichton in Kentucky. You're on Free Talk Live, Crichton. I saw it too. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's not really that funny the second time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but nice try. Wasn't funny the first time. I anyway, have a question. I was ahead. dying the first um, time. The the uh, coins in the kingdom of that. Yes. For $60. Yes. Does that get you inside the park? I believe that it just gets you into whatever the conference is as far as uh, Bitcoin goes. No, you have to buy your uh, Magic Kingdom tickets separately, your hotel separately. This is just for the event. I was going to say, that would be an outstanding deal just to get inside the park. It's still an outstanding Um, deal. I mean, $60 to go to a multi-day convention. uh, And they're not calling it a convention. What are they calling it? A Bitcoin fund? Party. Party of Bitcoin party, uh, but but you know to go to Ain't a place no party like a Bitcoin party, it sounds suspiciously like a convention. Sure, um, happening at a hotel in what is it Lake Buena Vista or Disney Disney World Downtown or whatever Disney, they call yeah. it. So I mean I I put together a well, convention here in Keene and I can't get away with charging less than sixty bucks. So that's amazing, uh, an amazing price because I don't know what that that convention room costs, but I don't imagine it's very cheap. Hmm. Well, conventions sound boring, so maybe they're just going for less boring. Yeah, I'm um, with you there. Party does sound a lot better. The than, people they're uh, inviting are a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, MK and Jeffrey Tucker. Go ahead, Crichton. Yeah. Earlier tonight, you had a caller that called in and was complaining about uh, uh, the, the loss of the, the fairness doctrine and, and the increase in media mm-hmm. in our modern age. And I just wanted to comment that basically he was making the old argument that of the paradox of choice, that 
too many choices confuse the consumer, which, of course, we know is, is entire. It's BS. It has no actual... I'd support. like you to explain that when we return, if you can hang on, because it sounds plausible on its face. All oh, those consumers, they're just so clueless. They don't know what they're doing. So give them two choices rather than 20. 855 450 free. Sounds believable. Why is it wrong? We'll come back with more. It's Free Talk Live. This is Mark Edge of Free Talk Live, and I've got something awesome to share with you. I've recently joined Liberty.me. It's an online city devoted to people who love liberty. Break free of the flame wars and bridge-dwelling denizens of Facebook. You deserve better. You deserve a friendly, ad-free social network where you can chat 24 hours a day with like-minded souls around the world. Attend live interactive classes with experts on economics, finance, politics, and money. Access a vast library of books and discuss them with your reading group. Better your life with exclusive self-help guides on investing, self-defense, homeschooling, security, healthcare, saving money, and starting a business. Become a libertarian luminary yourself and get paid in the process by publishing your works on liberty.me. Get tipped via PayPal and Bitcoin. The first step towards freedom is to invest in yourself. Start your free 30-day trial now at liberty.me. I love being a member of liberty.me and I think you will too. The first month is free. Sign up and say hello. Policy issued by American General Life Insurance Company, Houston, Texas. Not available in all states. For details, visit AIGdirect.com. It takes a lot of courage to face your own death, but I'm glad I finally did. See, I was putting off getting life insurance to protect my family, even though I knew it was important. Then my neighbor's husband died. I watched her struggle emotionally and financially. It really made me face reality. If my husband died, how would I pay the mortgage, the car payments, or keep up the life the kids and I had? I realized I needed to get us life insurance right away. So I called AIG Direct. In less than five minutes, I had a quote. I was shocked at how affordable it is. Just $14 a month for $250,000 of term life coverage. I feel so much better knowing my family has protection. Call AIG Direct right now for a free no-obligation quote. The call takes less than five minutes, and you can save up to 70%. Call now, 1-800-463-7479. That's 1-800-463-7479. 1-800-463-7479. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company Founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com you're listening to the best liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. It's 
Free Talk Live. Maybe enough time for your call if you're already on hold. If not, oh, just call us tomorrow. We do this thing seven nights per week. We're live from 7 to 10 at night Eastern Time. You can join us online. Go to freetalklive.com and enjoy all the features there. You can help support the show by becoming a Free Talk Live amplifier at amp.freetalklive.com. And that's 5 bucks a month, and it makes a big difference for us when you do it. So please uh, sign up for an AMP program. Uh, you can do it for, again, as little as 5 bucks with any major credit card or uh, Visa or MasterCard right on our website. You get perks like access to the AMP-only call-in lines, the AMP-only podcast, AMP-only forum, as well as the AMP-only Facebook group. Lots of so, stuff. Lots of perks there, but the big deal for us is that five bucks because we can add it all together and get on more radio stations with it. Coming up, the Keen Vention is on the way. In fact, uh, Lauren was just announced today that you are going to be one of the panel hosts. So you're going to be putting together this year's ladies panel at Keen Vention. Now, there's an argument, of course, to not have the ladies panel. Uh, to you know, basically, to say that well, to, ha- to 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 uh, to have a ladies panel is to acknowledge it's pandering, that, right? It's pandering is to acknowledge that there's some sort of discrepancy between males and uh, females in the liberty movement, and so therefore, there's an argument to not have it. Obviously, you don't mind the idea of having it because you've signed on for hosting the panel. So uh, it has not yet been announced who else will be on the panel with you. I imagine you are in the process of picking those ladies as we speak. Yes, I actually am pretty sure I have one. I'm not going to announce who it is. But I think we can talk a little bit about where you want to take the panel because uh, with Keenvention, the I don't control. You know, even though I put the thing together, I don't micromanage the panels. I don't want to tell you what you should talk about. So the only thing I've specified is this is the ladies panel, and so uh, you are going to decide what the topic is and it's going to be intellectual property right it is i'm very excited um so some of the smartest ladies in the liberty movement will be talking about one of the uh, the most controversial ideas yeah the, the thing is is that um there's really two major debates that go on in uh, the free state project that i've been privy to and one of them is anarchism versus minarchism and the other is intellectual property and so I chose intellectual property. And you'll be able to get pretty deep into it because at Keenvention, the panel lengths are 75 minutes long. So mm-hmm. it's not a short period of time. It's, you know, not quite an hour and a half, but it's, you know, long enough to really get a lot of thoughts in from the panelists and get a lot of questions in from the audience. And it went really, really well last year. So go and check it out at keenvention.info. And it's 60 bucks, get you in for the entire weekend. There's going to be some neat stuff that's going to be going on, perhaps uh, like a Friday night uh, Halloween party because it's actually happening October 30th. 31st through November 2nd. So uh, Keenvention coincides directly with Halloween this year, so that should bring an extra fun factor uh, to, the, uh, to the event. And yeah, bring a costume with you. I think it's going to be fun. Derek J is putting together a party as we speak, and so it's just going to be a blast. Go to Keenvention.info to get signed up there. And you can also watch video footage from last year. We, in fact, caught all the uh, the panels and speeches, got it all on video. So if you, you missed out, you can go see exactly what it was like. All right, let's go to your phone calls and thoughts here. We got Crichton in the, on the line in Louisville. Now, Crichton, you were telling us there was a fallacy of some sort or uh, some sort of economic mistake that was made by a caller earlier who was suggesting that having fewer choices is better for the consumer. He was giving, as an example, news channels comparing the 60s where there were maybe four or five, you know, three or four channels uh, to today where there might be 20 or 40 or something like that. And you were going to answer that. Go ahead. Yes, uh, the paradox of choice is the theory that as the choices among a particular product increase, say like shampoo, the, the the greater confusion that the consumer has because the consumer doesn't have as much time to research um, those products. And so as the products increase, the difficulty of, re- of coming to a conclusion, a, a good decision, become more difficult. Well, we know that this is a falsehood because as choices increase, so does the consumer feedback. And a wonderful example of that in our modern world is the eBay, eBay, eBay reviews and feedback system. Like on eBay, your choice of your product isn't so much what you're looking to buy, but who you're looking to buy it from, because you probably already know what you're looking for. Your choice is really about who do you trust to buy it from? Who's going to give you one that's not broken? And you end up going and you looking at those eBay seller reviews to make an informed decision 
on whether or not the price that they're giving you is an honest honest uh, value or if it's a scam. And you have to make that decision with that information. Well, that make, the eBay reviews makes that fairly easy. I mean, it's still possible to, to end up getting something that you didn't expect. But Crichton, I don't know if that's the best example. At least, you know, if, coming from the perspective, I'm going to try to put my, myself in the shoes of the, the caller earlier. Somebody who believes this idea that choices are bad or that fewer choices are better. Uh, you know, giving the example of eBay doesn't really work because, at least in the examples we were talking about, like if in a grocery store, for instance, you're uh, you're looking at the deodorant aisle. I mean, there's a bunch of choices there, and the average person isn't going to know whether or not Speed Stick is a better brand than uh, you know than Old Spice or something like that. Uh, they're just going to know what they've heard from people and or what level of research they've put into it. Of course, the average person probably doesn't put that much research into the uh, the underarm well, deodorant. I can tell you, heard, without competition, is... you won't see uh, more choices and innovation in the deodorant market. I think that it's safe to say that deodorants uh, today are better than a deodorants 100 years ago. But if there was only <laughs> one government deodorant manufacturer, that deodorant would likely be the same deodorant from 100 years ago. It's probably true. Crichton, any final thoughts? There's no reason for it not to be. But here, let's let's change examples, like. The example of a of radio show host, talk radio. No Who competition there. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, there's the idea that the, the consumer is a, is a listener. Well, how, what is the feedback that matters? Well, it's the rating, of course, because the ratings determine how well you, you can advertise for a particular show. If a show is uh, given out false information that's, easily provable false, then people who listen to it will begin to distrust it. The ratings will go down. The market corrects itself because that guy is not going to be on the radio anymore. That's the be- I think that's uh, the best point. And, and thank you, Crichton, for the call tonight. I appreciate the time for the explanation on that. Um, that the market, even though there may be a lot of choice, that we wouldn't want it any other way. Because the only other option is regulation of whatever that market is, whether it's television stations being only three or four, or it's you know dozens of radio stations versus two, or dozens of choices of deodorant versus three. As long as the market is in charge of making the decision as to what's the best, and the market's you and I making our individual choices about what we like, as long as that's what the regulatory structure is, then things will ultimately work out for the best. And that doesn't mean the best for the companies offering the deodorant. Some of those guys are going to go out of business because they just didn't smell right or didn't protect for as long as they said that it would protect or whatever. But having some central bureaucracy in there making the decision that, oh, we need this deodorant, but not this deodorant, or this TV station, but not this TV station, leads to disaster, and it leads to even more falsehoods being put on the air because those companies are protected by the government. Yeah, the, the market is a very harsh mistress. Um, I would say a lot harsher than the government, actually, um, because yeah, um, sink or swim out there for it sure. It really is. I mean, I would much rather the market be regulating things than the government. Um, companies die so much faster. Don't even get started. Let's go to Tommy. Markets. We're going to try to sneak a few more in here. Tommy, you're on Free Talk Live all the way from Scotland. Scotland. Yeah. Scotland, uh, you can take your life, but you can never take your free talk life. How are you doing? Well, <laughs> hey, Tommy. <laughs> Thanks for being here tonight. We're really short on time, unfortunately, so go ahead with your thoughts. Yeah, I was just, just when you said the, the lovely objectionist, objectionist girls, how do you say it? Objectivist. Objectivist. <laughs> Objectivist. I was, have you heard of a school called Summer School based in Suffolk, England? Um, No. Can you tell me about it? Summerhill School. If you can, you just type in Summerhill School. Okay. It's a wonderful school. It's been going on for ninety three years. It started by a gentleman called A. S. Neil. It's now run, I think, by his daughter or granddaughter. Uh-huh. And it's an alternative, the original alternative free school. And it's an influential. It's, I'm, just, I'm taking it from the site here, but it's where the children have a democracy. I was one. I was a wonderful gentleman. Introduced us. I was. Uh, for myself, I didn't terrible at school, and then I applied to go to a university course, which was a quality and discrimination. I mean, I explained my life to the professor, a wonderful gentleman, and he said, well, what you've been doing is you've been creatively maladjusting all your life. 
You know, I didn't fit in at school. I, I hated the school system. I was always wanting to sit there and think and dream and do other things, you know? Oh, hey, yeah. So, it absolutely is hey, message repressive. me. Add me on Objectivist Girl and message me. I'd love to talk to you about this more. Thanks, Tommy. I wish we had more time. Thank I you. certainly want to hear more uh, at some point in the future about the uh, independence initiative out there in Scotland that is coming up. I believe it's, it is Scotland, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, coming up next month. Soon. We'll, Come back with more tomorrow night. Join us online at freetalklive.com. Join Lauren at objectivistgirl.com. Bye, we'll see you tomorrow. Are you on Free Talk Live? We're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs, you guys really are having an impact. I believe, like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project, and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency, and Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you're helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available right now. Learn it, use it, and spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at weusecoins.com. That's weusecoins.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Off the Air Live is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Thursday, August 21st, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.40 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,280 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $523. Antiwar.com reports, the latest report from the International Atomic Energy Agency has once again shown that Iran continues to comply with the terms of a nuclear deal negotiated with the P5 plus one and took steps to comply with the extended pact reached last month. Despite U.S. grousing about the pact, Iran has exceeded all expectations for how quickly they could meet some of the major provisions, and the IAEA has praised their cooperation repeatedly. The original P5 plus 1 nuclear deal with Iran expired on July 20th, and an extension through November was announced to allow talks on a permanent settlement to continue. The complexity of such a deal, along with congressional hostility towards any deal at all, mean such a pact is likely to take years to sort out. The terms of the interim deal have the IAEA doing daily inspections of Iran's civilian nuclear sites, and they have continued to confirm the non-diversion of nuclear material to any non-civilian or undeclared purposes. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Coinbase. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. I trust Coinbase. You should too. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. That's coinbase.fppradio.com. Reuters reports, 
The U.S. Supreme Court stopped same-sex marriage in Virginia from going ahead on Wednesday, staying an appeals court ruling that had struck down a state ban. The court granted a stay application filed by opponents of same-sex marriage. The action was not a ruling on the merits of same-sex marriage, but means that a July 28th pro-same-sex marriage ruling by the Richmond-based 4th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals will not be implemented while litigation continues. The U.S. Supreme Court issued its brief order less than 24 hours before gay and lesbian couples in Virginia could have begun applying for marriage licenses. The Supreme Court issued a similar order in January blocking same-sex marriage from going ahead in Utah, so the court's order on the Virginia law was not wholly unexpected. In light of a string of recent lower court rulings that have struck down state bans on same-sex marriage, the Supreme Court is expected to take up at least one of the cases on the issue in its coming term, which starts in October and ends in June. Three cases already are pending at the court that the justices can choose from, and whichever one they choose will likely be the most momentous civil rights case in years. The three cases involve fights over bans in Virginia, Utah, and Oklahoma. Virginia Attorney General Mark Herring told reporters he recognized that gay and lesbian couples wanting to get married in the state would be disappointed with the delay caused by the stay, but he said the Supreme Court should definitely answer the constitutional question about marriage equality. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760. CBS reports a reporter captured video Tuesday night of a police officer in Ferguson, Missouri, cursing and threatening to kill members of the media. The video shows that as the officer approached, a man is heard saying, oh my God, gun raised. The man said, hands are up, bro. My hands are up. The officer walks near the man with his gun pointed and says, I will effing kill you. Someone asked, you're going to kill him. What's your name, sir? The officer replied, go F yourself. After some taunting, a second police officer then approaches the unnamed police officer with the new unfortunate nickname and pushes his gun away from the crowd while escorting him away. St. Louis County Police Spokesman Brian Shellman said the officer is with the Police Department of St. Anne, another town near Ferguson. Officer Go F Yourself has not yet been identified, though Shellman did say that Officer Go F Yourself has been relieved of duty and suspended indefinitely. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Do you sometimes feel that healthy eating can be a lot of work with very little reward? Well, no need to worry any longer. Here are the Onion's tips for healthy eating. First, identify your weaknesses, and then condition yourself to avoid problem foods by associating them with deceased relatives, unrequited loves, and traumatic events. Remember, Alcohol is a source of empty calories, so be sure to keep your